for sure. Hey, welcome to Dark Angels and uh, Pretty Freaks episode 53. I am Neil C. I am Annalise. And we are joined by a very special guest, Roy from the Moving the Needle podcast. Hey, Roy. Hello, everybody. Hello, fellow freaks. Hello. I, I, <laughs> we've been talking about doing this uh, for a long time now. I'm glad that we're finally getting to do it. Uh, we're pretty excited about it. And uh, it's interesting because I think you were one of the first people through podcasting and Twitter that I actually started talking to outside of Twitter and podcasting that we started texting about just our day and random stuff. So it's kind of <laughs> cool that we actually get to finally be on uh, the I've, freaky side of the show. I was going to say that. I'm not sure the listeners out there know that uh, how much you guys actually are, you know, like friends. Like, yeah. You know. Well, actually, as, friend, as friendly as we can be. I mean, it would be nice to person. hang out, but right. I think the, the commute for us would be kind of long. Right, right. Yes, yeah, same friends will upset people, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't get Grant in a tizzy. <laughs> oh, that's what I love doing, though. <laughs> True. You True. and I think 95% of Twitter. So. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you, sir? Good. It's been a it's been a long, interesting day with the kids. Yeah, that's what you were saying. You're uh maybe a, a little tired, maybe a little bit. Oh, they wear me the hell out. Don't yeah, be don't yeah. be polite, polite, polite. <laughs> I am Great. I'm like back from the soccer field, sweaty. <laughs> I wrestled them both today. They didn't get me down once. <laughs> you still undefeated? Yeah. But, you know, my five-year-old's still meaner than I am, no matter how much of a... Even though I tell her that monsters check under the bed for Macmillans when they go to sleep at night, it doesn't phase her. That's so, funny. Is that pink towel? What do you want? Is that a pink towel? Sure, I'll get you a towel. Apparently we need towels here. My drink is... Uh, Exploding. Yeah, it's uh, on the loose. My drink's on the loose! Oh, that's funny. That is Son funny. Of a bitch. I know. <laughs> Who knew? I know. So, uh... So, Roy, how is everything over at Moving the Needle? Oh, things are going great. Yeah. Um, we're having our best month ever. Oh, nice. A lot. And we've done it with fewer shows. So thank you for all the new listeners and the old listeners and the ones coming back, even though they never should have stopped listening. Right. And- <laughs> Sorry, delicious. sarcasm is my first language. English is second. Right. I'm familiar. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I think you and Alice could probably from the same... Uh, sarcasm uh what is it planet oh. <laughs> cut from the same cloth <laughs> yes yes it's a, it's a beautiful cloth <laughs> which is funny because it took me sometimes we'll have conversations and i'm not super sarcastic and i can be very like literal and on point so annalise will say something and i'm like no that that's not it at all and she's like no no that it was sarcastic yeah. like oh okay like, oh, that's I got that it. joke's ruined yeah right that <laughs> brilliant yeah. joke ruined is ruined <laughs> Yep, and went right over your head and splattered that beautiful banner right behind you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I I am a big uh, fan of your your guys' show. It was I've told this story before, but when I started listening, I didn't realize how close you and Sean were and how long you had been friends. So I thought like you guys had recently put this podcast together, recently met, and I'm like, wow. Sometimes it seems like they don't they don't get along too well. I'm like, oh, that, that must be hard. And then when you're like, no, we've been friends forever. I'm like, oh, now it totally makes sense. So, yeah, you know, pissing each other off is nothing new. But yeah. that's fine. I mean, it works well. Yeah, no, I, I, and again, I, we've talked about this before, but you are to me, you're so freaking funny on that show because so many of your jokes are just so understated and almost fall like underneath what's going yeah, on i think that half the time they just go unnoticed like he'll say something by kinda, them by people right yeah, yeah. Start, by something sarcastic or you know um you know whatever and then like and i'll be laughing and like no one else caught it like catches it they'll just keep talking and i'm like oh my god yeah somebody you freaking. have to comment on that i'm yelling at you right now you have to comment on that <laughs> and everybody i talk to about your podcast says the same thing they're like oh my god Roy's freaking hilarious and a lot of it's like and i don't it almost now to me seems like they probably hear it and they're like i think that's totally it but it's good. So, yeah, please check out uh, the Moving the Needle podcast. I like to get that out of the way. So, because uh, I know as we go on and start talking, I'll start forgetting and be like, all right, Roy, nice talking to you. Bye. See I'll ya. Be like, oh, I probably should have mentioned the podcast. <laughs> well, that's okay. And how, how long have you been uh, podcasting? I mean, I know you and I talked about this, but I, I thought it was interesting that you, you and Sean actually did a show before Moving the Needle, right? Yes. And before then, we were on a show called Media Meltdown. And we did a show called Synesthesia. Yeah, say that five times fast, which is why we're now moving the needle. And uh, 
we did that for a while and then Sean had some health problems. So we had to take a break. And so when he got, when he got well again, we, um, you know, kind of brainstormed this idea because we did mostly like movie conversations, like every week it was either like Avengers or Boogie Nights or, well, Goodfellas was swallowed up by audacity. I'm still pissed. And that happened in 2003. <laughs> um, so we did a lot of that. So we, we've kind of diversified, except, you know, when I looked at episode 36 and I realized that 33 of the 36 shows were movies, maybe we weren't as diversified as we thought. <laughs> That's awesome. That's, That's pretty good. funny. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to... We don't you know, just we, talk about movies. Mm-hmm. Just 96.5% of the time. Right. <laughs> That's right. And thank you for using uh, decimals because Ryan listens and fractions are scary. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I almost said, yeah, I almost said something in fractions, but then I changed my mind. <laughs> 17 of 100 fifths of us are here. <laughs> uh, Ryan's oh great. My gosh. Oh, we, we pick on him sometimes. I know, bit, you guys it, do pick it, on it's him. It's great. It, it's like I just told you offline. I, if I don't pick on you, that means I don't know you or I don't like you. So it's kind of a badge of honor. <laughs> right. Agreed. I completely do the same thing. Like it's uh, like otherwise I just don't notice you at all. Like if I'm just like, yeah, cool. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Then that means that you, it's indifferent. You're on you're a low radar. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> if you get the indifferent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I know. That was the first month uh, that we started tweeting at each other. Right. No, <laughs> <laughs> I was still polite then. And right. <laughs> Now I'm like, what? <laughs> For the love of God, what? <laughs> Tell me the answer now. Mm-hmm. Actually, um, she's got a really great Dr. Claw voice. It's like, Roy, tell me what I want to know. <laughs> nice. I've never heard that before. I um, texted him. And that, is that how you terrify the kids at night? <gasps> oh, wow. I, no, that's, they'll that's never come back from that. That's, <laughs> that's, later that's permanent damage territory. <laughs> Lights are off. You hear that voice? Yeah, I've got to be able to afford the therapy first. Right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You got to get that slush fund kind of set first. And then you're like, okay, now what can I do? What voice can I do to freak them out? <laughs> um, when I texted Ray the other day, um, I just um, sent him one text and it said Roy with like five exclamation points. And, I, and that was the first text. <laughs> but nice. I was like, hi. <laughs> Right. Well, well, Annalise doesn't totally do like, subtle. What did so. I do? Right. right. I'm not subtle, really. I try and to be, and, and been, it doesn't work out so well. So yeah. And I've been married for about 15 years, so I'm no something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a different woman who wrote it. <laughs> yeah, I'm in trouble. Well, it's like whenever. That, no, that's the opposite. Uh, when I'm when I'm going, Roy, that means that's cool. If I'm like, oh, Roy. Well, I knew, but you know, the, the downside was just a little funnier. It's like it's like ninety five percent of the time my phone goes off. It's either my mom, my sister, or Annalise, and I've probably done something wrong. Somebody's got a question for me about something. I'm like, what? I didn't do anything. Well, did stuff. your mom say that time about you? That um, about me? Yeah, the dirty diaper. Oh, about that I need desitin. That was one thing. <laughs> Yeah, she's grumpy. I'm sorry, was that not it? Yeah. I don't know. I've I've only heard you mention a conversation with your mom chastising you once, so that had to be it. That might, yeah, she she will, when I'm in a grumpy mood, she'll be like, oh, Neely needs desitin in her little Spanish accent. And I'm like, oh, my God, really? But she's <laughs> typically right. <laughs> so... So Is that then. your ringtone, Annalise? <laughs> Nearly needs desitin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, funny. So that'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> be weird at work, but funny. Right. Well, the funny thing is, is a uh, friend of mine, we used to say, hey, to each other. <laughs> welcome each other. I used to work at a warehouse in Savannah. And I made it a ringtone, and I forgot to turn my ringer off one time during a Lions Club meeting. <laughs> so somebody called me, and it was... Hey, hey, hey. And you got to imagine, besides Dawn and me, the average age of the people in the room was retirement age. Oh, wow. So they love that. Yeah. They're like, what? what is going on with that guy? I, I think there? I could have moved faster than the Flash trying to turn that bitch <laughs> off. That's like when you go to shut it off and the phone flies out of your hand and you're like, oh, no. Oh, my uh, God. Speaking of that, so you guys, uh, Neil just took a zero for a walk about an hour before this. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was dusting, doing the little end dust with the duster thing. And I uh, accidentally 
Well, I picked up that lightsaber toy that you have. Mm-hmm. And um, I moved it and I accidentally hit the button and it totally uh, like would have. Yeah. <laughs> and it would not turn off. And <laughs> I had this moment where I just panicked and I was home alone. So it's completely stupid that I panicked. But right. I had that moment like, oh, oh, crap, crap. And I like dropped the, the dust towel and I'm like, oh, shit. And I couldn't like figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> and then I'm, but I'm home by myself. So I just had that weird like kid toy store moment where you've just turned on like the toy and you're like and it's like and there wasn't anything else going on in the house so right, it's super so it's quiet and so it was like and i'm like yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah we have these two they're like led flashlights and one is darth maul's uh double lightsaber and then right. one is oh, yoda's nice. lightsaber and they're and it so, was the darth maul one. yeah and when you <laughs> turn them on the obviously the leds go on but it also makes the lightsaber sound and they're really cool and they were right. really cheap too yeah. we got them for like five or ten bucks right. and it's, Be careful them. dusting them, though, just yeah. for future reference. Uh. But they are funny. When you hit them by accident, <laughs> if you're not expecting it, all of a sudden you're like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and especially oh. here in earthquake country, we're like, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay, God. Huh. Well, I was home alone. <laughs> I'm like, a lightsaber. Ah. <laughs> yeah. A tremor in the forest could turn into a tremor really fast. <laughs> right. yeah, and you know it's a geek household when you're like, and then our lightsaber turned on by accident. I was dusting the lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you know, I work at Lucasfilm. Wow. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, that's all right. My wife's an audiologist, and I stopped by her office today because she was doing a little work here. And before it was her office, it was like a local medical office. So I'm sitting there in the bathroom, and all of a sudden she, like, opens the specimen door and screams. (laughs) (laughs) Which I really should have gotten passive-aggressive and wrote on her wall. There you go. So you weren't the only one who got freaked out. See, we're Whoa. we're getting Good closer. For her. That's, That's awesome. That's hilarious. Yeah, it was. But doesn't she understand the uh, history of heart disease in my right. family? Right. Right. <laughs> At least she didn't have a super soaker or something. <laughs> well, Great, well, giving her I ideas. <laughs> then it would have been a fair fight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's good. We uh we spent this morning. We actually recorded this morning with Mark from Tangent Bound of the Tangent Bound Network. And it was interesting. This has nothing to do with super soakers, but I just... I know, I was like, I'm not sure where yeah, you're going. <laughs> this this, this seemed to be like we're a just, really just, clear just, segue. I don't to do with urination ambushes. <laughs> Speaking right? of super say, soaker, we yeah, recorded this morning. talking about bathroom, and all of a sudden I'm like, so Mark from... <laughs> but it was, it was interesting because we typically don't... Do it, yeah. There you go. We don't record <laughs> in the morning. And we went out last night to see Rick Springfield. Oh, which we should probably talk we'll about. We'll talk about that, yeah. Um, and Don't worry, we talked about it on Seven Days a Geek. So, oh, we're nice. Nice. Oh, really? nice. <laughs> well, we didn't talk about it. We chatted. We didn't get on last night. Oh, no. okay. Um, but so we went out, and you know, being just old and feeble at this stage, like anytime we go out the next day, and and not from drinking too much, just staying out that late, because typically we're in bed by eight o'clock because we get up so early. So when we roll in and we get home at like midnight or one in the morning. The next day, we're I have just, no idea what time we got home. I, went to I, bed. I have absolutely no idea. And so <laughs> we we had a record with Mark this morning, and we woke up, and it's like, oh my god, we have to record in an hour. What is going on? Yeah, I was laying it where I have to record at nine. I was laying in bed at like seven thirty. I'm like, no. I'm like, no. how do people do these freaking morning shows? That would be brutal. I don't know. I've never. I don't think I've ever done one. I hope they didn't get your coffee wrong this morning. That would have been just cruel. Um, you know what's funny? Oh, shit. I actually oh. meant to send an email because um, I went to Starbucks twice this week, and both times my drink was wrong. And the last time, it not only was wrong, but it was like, instead of no foam, it was like extra foam. It was like a full, like, inch. It was like a lot of lease in the foam. And hate. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> fuck. But just, you know, like, that just, like, sets the tone for the day. So you drive to work with, like, <laughs> like this drink that you, you know, paid for that you don't really yes. enjoy. Yes, but you are very serious about your coffee. And, I, like, the whole way to work, I'm like, I'm going to write this fucking email. But the emails don't do anything. Well, usually they give you a sorry and a free drink. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, because that but, one time they gave you a, yeah, well, I didn't, sucks uh, to be you. Yeah, yeah, I didn't uh, give them. I did it kind of anonymously that time. But this time I'm going to freaking... I'm I'm done. So I'm so done being nice. <laughs> needless to say, we didn't go to Starbucks this morning. No. Annalise made coffee here, of which yeah. she still complained about. She said it was no good and there was too much foam. I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but more man, 
doing a morning thing would be rough. Obviously, I'm not going to go see Rick Springfield every night, so I'm not going to have. But I, wow, I don't know. Zero's deciding that he wants yeah, to chime in. I was in. speaking of which, so that's Zero in the background. Also, there seems to be some sort of a party or something in the neighborhood. So if you hear some mariachi music. Oh, or, you're not going to call it Mexican polka I was going to say time? Mexican polka, but. <laughs> Mexican polka. Yeah. But I, awesome. I couldn't remember that's what it was so called. Small. And I was just yeah. like, Mexican polka. And it's the house like right behind us. So it's pretty loud. And they get like the barbecue going and the bounce house and the. Mexican polka going, and it's like all day long. And they long actually and... have a mariachi band. Yeah, they no, it's, it it's a real too. band. Yeah. Like, it's not like a recording or something. So they have like a band back there. And, and I like and, it, uh... but it, so it's funny. Earlier, I was uh, sitting on the, or laying on the bed with the the animals and the Mexican polka, the mariachi is going on, and Annalise walks in and she goes, how, oh my God, they're playing that night. What did you say? I can't, not I can't stand it, but some about not liking it. Well, because I was like, how can you sleep through yeah. that? That's and I'm like, oh, I, oh, I kind of like it. And the look she gave me was like, Oh. Something is freaking wrong with you, man. <laughs> like that is like the least relaxing music I could possibly yeah. find to nap to. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Better Metallica. Yeah, right. right. Like kind of, I actually went and got like some earplugs, and I was like, I can't deal with whatever's going on in here. Well, tell Roy what you use to fall asleep. <laughs> That sounds weird. Uh, I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> it makes noise, too. Roy, um, call me later. No, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it. Do you have trouble sleeping? Um, this actually goes in line with um, a conversation that Roy and I had somewhat recently about his uh, Fifty Shades of Grey episode. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is kind of funny, and I'm probably going to get a ton of shit for this. Sure. But um, sometimes I listen to audiobooks with headphones in. Because I have to drown out the sound of that freaking chainsaw cat purr. Oh, yeah. One of our cats <laughs> has the loudest freaking purr and will not stop. It just keeps He's purring. just so happy to be in your presence that he'll purr for two hours solid till he falls asleep. And you're like looking at him going, I want to kill oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Big, lazy I'm cat. Kill Roy. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Sorry, exactly. Roy. <laughs> Roy's got it in for he's Roy. He's super sweet. You know, he's kind of a ginger. He is. Don't you notice that? He is. <gasps> no. Roy. White, no- white and orange. <laughs> Damn gingers. They're all around. That's true. He's white and orange. So tell um, him. <laughs> yeah. So um, I have been listening to like the same uh, section of the last Twilight book to fall asleep to yeah. over and over the and over again. Same chapter. The same chapter oh, because yeah. it's. Um... <laughs> you should see Roy's face. <laughs> it's almost like he got disappointed. He was here. He's like, he was like all like that. And then you said that. And he's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> But um, just well, just think about it though. So you don't want any stimulus. You want something that kind of lulls you, and doesn't. It's just kind of there, and there's like talking, and you've heard it a hundred times before. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. Not me. So that, right. <laughs> so that gives you an idea. So in the afternoon, I'm listening to Mexican polka, and Annalise is listening to the same <laughs> chapter of a Twilight book. Well, what's funny is I was listening to a different audiobook, and I actually found that so interesting that it woke me up. Oh, and you I wanted was, to stay awake? Yeah, and I was like, oh, crap, no, no, I need to change that. That's not cool. Cause... And I'm like, what happens next? Let's get up and find out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Ugh. not with Twilight. So. <laughs> and you're a huge, right, Roy, you're a huge Twilight fan, so. Oh, absolutely not. (laughs) I mean, the only thing good about Twilight is it made my wife happy for like two weeks. Uh. She she was in evil medical school doing, uh, and she still managed to read all four books in like two weeks. Yeah. Like, I I don't know how she, I mean, I guess she doesn't sleep. (laughs) I did too. I read all four books in about two weeks. I, I read them. Um, I, I was, I can, I can really get, I can get write through books if I, you know. And her, yeah. and her writing is... It's very simple. Yeah. So it's... Not to, I mean, obviously that. people liked it, but I read it because I've just... I'm happy I've always, people read, so I'm, you know. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I've always have been a big vampire fan and like the Anne Rice stuff and started, I think I started reading the books before the movies. I think it, they had said they were going to make it a movie and somebody's like, oh, you like vampires, read it. And I started reading it and I'm like, this is the worst thing freaking ever to I'm read. I'm going to read all of it. And I just kept reading them. I, like, I couldn't, it's, it became this thing where, where I'm like, I can't put it down now. And now I have to find out what happens to these glittering freaking assholes. <laughs> I've only read uh, Memnock, Mem, how do you say that? Memnock? Memnock. The Devil. Mm-hmm. Right. And so I read that on, uh, I was on a work trip. And I think at one point I actually threw the book down. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, God. 
saw the movie. Really? Yeah, really? But And then I ended up having to see all the movies, too, obviously, because I can't read the books and then not see the movie. Right. So, so which was difficult. Also lovely. Yeah, which was difficult. Anyway. I, I, I did the disservice of going to see Twilight with Dawn. And there were these two women behind me that must have thought they were in their living room. Yeah. And wouldn't shut up the whole two hours. Oh. So not only am I dealing with, you know, what's her face's teenage torment. Yeah. And, <laughs> and Edward the emo. I had to deal with the two <laughs> babbling bitches behind me. That actually brings us full circle to our Rick Springfield episode last night. Oh, that's right. Yeah. There was a gaggle of uh, six women sitting behind us. They were older, though. Yeah, oh, for sure. Well, every woman there was from the 80s. It was, it was an 80s. There were some younger uh, there people were a few. that probably just go because it's the local. It's a smaller local theater. Right. It's done really nice. It used to be. And it's, uh, it was sold out, but there were empty house. seats. So that's yeah. interesting. Um, I think radio stations gave a bunch away. Right. But um, anyway, so every, it was like an 80s throwback. And so most of the people there were late 30s to early 50s. Yeah, somewhere. There's like a 20-year gap there. But so many people were dressed like it was the freaking 80s. And I'm like, chicky, that does not look right anymore. I don't, <laughs> uh, you know, as that we made get, it look okay when you were 20, but now yeah. that you're 50, it's not as awesome. As we get older, <laughs> gravity wins. And I'm like, I don't know if that's what I would wear if I was. But, you know, good for yeah, you. Have I, a good time. I, we both came extremely close to saying something to the ladies behind us. And uh, one woman did say they something. They were hammered, too. Yeah, and they were just being so obnoxious yeah. and so loud, and just talking to each other. And just a regular conversation, not even about the show. Yeah, not not like, like they were out for coffee or, or not. Something. Yeah, but like, oh my gosh, I have to get new tires on my car. I mean, stuff as innocuous and stupid as that. And oh, I kept looking back. And then I was I was gonna say something, and I'm like, you know what? I'm we won tickets. We're here. Right. And I was so close. So I actually like started to get up one time. But then somebody I actually did, was like, did say something, and I'm we ended like, up that moving. Is it. Actually. That is. Frickin she had her bitch slapper fully oh, cocked. Yeah, yeah. I and and, <laughs> and, I, and I've done that before. Like I've been at a rock show before, where um, a rock show, a rock show. I always call it a rock show. Um, I was with my girlfriend um, Athena. You know Athena, mm-hmm. and we went to and it's an open air. Um, the Greek. We went to see um, Thievery Corporation and some other uh, mm-hmm. stuff. Anyway, mm-hmm. so there was these people in front of us, and the girlfriend was drunk, and the boyfriend was there, and and finally I just said something, and she looked at me, she's like, "Thank you." so much yeah. for saying something he's like i wanted to and i wasn't quite sure how to handle it you did that very well and i was like well someone had to say something we have to sit here for two hours i pay a lot of money for these tickets yeah <laughs> yeah know? but but um it's i was not a huge rick springfield fan i don't know roy if you were um all i, I remember is jesse's girl and i remember exactly, jesse's girl which, which and i did a like that song of general hospital right <laughs> and there were a couple songs that i knew he did but which never, i didn't watch so i don't know never a huge fan but when we won the tickets i'm like yeah sure you know yeah, we're gonna go be fun for it, sure it was a freaking amazing show it he was a, an amazing guitar player it was acoustic yeah it was just pretty much him with a bunch of guitars and he just sat on a stool with a microphone and told stories told stories showed pictures Pretty much told kind of his life story. It was dangerously close to folk singer. Yeah, but... <laughs> it was. It was. But good. <laughs> but and he sounded. Am- I was like, I mean, I yeah. I still don't like the songs enough to like go and buy an album, but enough that I was like, wow, he. I had a really good time. This yeah. Rick Springfield guy, he keeps this up. He might just have a career. <laughs> but what's funny is he was in Vietnam in '68. Yeah, and he, he was, even made a comment. He's like, yeah, so all of you guys out there right now are thinking, how old is this freaking guy? And I was thinking, yeah, how old is this freaking guy? If he right. was 18, well, obviously I can do well, the math. Well, he wasn't a soldier. He went with his dad who was right. um, some sort of military um, higher up yeah. guy. And so the family had to go. And he, he had uh, – it was cool because he had a bunch of pictures. But talk – I mean, very – Mr. Springfield, good on you. Right. We bought a $35 oh, tell him about shirt. the lady that um, – so, Oh, Roy, the lady that went down? Roy, so Roy. let me just uh, oh, ask you this, Roy. Let's say you're at this rock show, and I use rock show loosely. Mm-hmm. You've, you've heard me describe it already. You're at a folk show. You had a folk show. <laughs> mm-hmm. Singer-songwriter show. Yeah. There's steps. And then it's you, an old uh, opera house, so there's a lot of steps. A lot very of steps. High, lot, yeah. And everything's lit, and there's people there with flashlights. So, yeah. I mean, if you got your shit together, you're all right. You're I good. mean, I had a couple drinks, and I was all right. Yeah, we're good. And uh, so a few aisles in front of us, you see this lady go down. She I goes mean, down. Not not like, oh, I missed oh, my whoopsie. footing. Oh, super whoopsie. We're talking like, like she... <laughs> 
decided to do a swan dive forward uh, down, down, down several about steps. 15 <laughs> steps to the landing. So what does one do with that point? And While like, Rick Springfield is singing a very emotional, I mean, yes. it's, it's one of his ballads, and I think it was, that wasn't the one about it, his dad. And it was the, not the dad, but it was close. But it I was, mean, it was, somebody passed away, right, and yeah. it was sad, and it was a time in his life, and it was a very slow, emotional song. And so this, not everybody noticed, just the people around this woman. Yeah, about the 15 to 20 people around her that saw her. Yeah. Go down. It was like a re- like it was wrestling, like perfect WWE. She took a dive. I'm like, what? What is she doing? It wasn't. Oh, she's quite trying to fly slow motion, but <laughs> <laughs> and you could she hear it. You could hear the thud when. Yeah, she no, landed. you heard the thud. You physically heard the thud. Yeah, you physically like, heard the thud. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. You, well, I mean, like as totally. supposed to feel it, you know, like yeah. you, like you but physically you, you, heard it. Yeah, but like you heard could hear it as opposed. I didn't feel it, so I heard it. <laughs> Start with me. <laughs> but I, and and I have this bad habit. I, I mean, I don't want anyone to get hurt, but I have a bad habit of laughing when things like that happen. Not obviously if something was terrible, and she, I wouldn't. But I just, I when I fall down, I laugh, and I have plenty of stories of falling down. Well, you, down. For, your first reaction was to get up and help, yeah. And, and then we're like, oh, that's... and I was twenty rows away, and I'm right? Like, and they were like, yeah, there were fifteen there people were, there. But right? yeah, I was going to be that annoying guy that shows up after everyone's got it under control, and I'm like, hey, well, uh, what can I do to help? You know, <laughs> someone <laughs> shine the doctor. This... Yeah, right, <laughs> right. But then um, everyone kind of checks on her, and then she just kind of gets up and shakes it off and she's just like okay everybody stop looking i'm gonna just walk away walk away walk away <laughs> although th- that reminds me best line of the night by rick springfield mm-hmm. i'm not a doctor but i played one on tv <laughs> <laughs> you sure did so so what would you do roy yeah, see w- someone go down at a rock show <sighs> i don't know at yeah. a rock show in an opera house right <laughs> <laughs> at a folk considering, show because considering i have no paramedic training whatsoever I would probably you walk back, over right? and, and hope someone technically proficient beats me there. Right? <laughs> walk over real slow. Take, take the slow walk. You're like, doo, 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 looking around, seeing if anybody else is coming. You're like, ah, oh, maybe I'll tie my shoe real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe it. But yeah, so Rick Springfield, good. Lady taking a dive. Almost the ladies behind good. us, not awesome. The ladies behind us, not us, but it was good. So, yeah, we actually moved. Oh, and that's the other funny thing. We uh, saw someone that I work with there. Oh, yeah, sitting right in front of us. And I saw him in the lobby. Uh, Neil went to uh, use the restroom before the show. Where is it that you work? (laughs) (laughs) So, um, 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 and I'm not going to say his name because he's a fairly famous uh, mixer. And so, um, but, I saw but it's him, not him Sir and, Mix a lot. No, okay. I saw him and his wife, and I uh, walked up behind them, and I was like, "Hey!" And he and I like, "Hey!" And he turned around, you know, and it has like this, you know, kind of blank face or whatever. And he turned around, and like, "Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, weird!" And I'm like, "Hi, how's it going?" And then his wife, and so he reintroduced us because I haven't seen her for years or whatever. But um, it was this really funny moment where he's like. How he's like? Where have you been? I'm like, I've been. I, I'm full time. I go to work every day. <laughs> and he's like, right, right. I'm like, I just don't see you every day. And he's like, right, of course. Of well, course. it's funny because Annalise <laughs> says, "Oh, I ran into so and so," and I thought, I'm like, is he doing the sound here? And Annalise is like, No, no, he's just here to see the show. And I'm like, Oh, cool. Then we get to our seats, and then they walk and sit right in front of us, <laughs> and it's assigned right. seating. Right. And I lean forward, <laughs> and I was like, Hi. Yeah. And he's like, like, Whoa. <laughs> And I was like, I swear I'm not stalking you. I just wanted to say that I'm behind you. So, hi. <laughs> and so the, the breathing on your neck will be Neil. And so, it. be careful. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this tattoo with your name on it is just coincidence. Right. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> That's hi. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I start touching the back of his head. Right, like, right. hey. So it was pretty funny. And then when we well, got up and examples. moved, we actually moved to the end of their row, and they kind of looked over, and we kind of like did like a hey. As, as I'm just going to move as close as possible to you right now. Hope right. You don't mind. Right. <laughs> as we've talked about on this podcast, I have the bladder the size of a gnat, and if I have a couple beers, it's even worse. So I bothered the people once, and typically we'll buy seats on the aisle so I can get in and out easily. And I bothered the people once. They were actually really nice. And we decided well, one because of, them of the was, talking. One of them was super into the show. And the other one was kind of on her phone. So I think she just came along with kind right. of thing. But um, And I was like, just just get up. It's totally fine. Just get up. And he was like, no, I don't want to bug him again. I'm like, you know what? We'll get up. We'll move seats because those seats over yeah, there we'll are empty. Yeah, we'll go get a drink. They sell drinks. And the th- you right. can take drinks to your seat. Here, and which that is way amazing. we can get away from the, the mother mom the behind us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so we moved, but it was funny. The second time I walked in front of them, I was like, "Oh, I'm really sorry." And they're both like, "Oh no, no problem." Yeah, so. I was like, "Oh, okay." I'm gonna sit all that anxiety for nothing. It happens to me all the time. 
And you're like, oh, I feel bad. I don't have to get up. I'm so sorry. Excuse like, me. it's, it's pardon a me, total excuse thing. Me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Excuse yeah, it's me, a total me. thing with me because I know <laughs> I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. And then the anxiety makes me need to go sooner, I think. And mm, then right. I sit there and hold it as long as I can. And then, and then when it's all said and done, it's not like I go 50 times. It's maybe two, which maybe if somebody three, went in front of me, two or three, it yeah. wouldn't bother me yeah, at, not all. at all. I don't care. But so. it's a total mental thing with me yeah. now. Like you feel, you feel bad. like there was one time we were watching a movie and you went to go to the bathroom and then you've got to put go to the bathroom again and you never came back. So like, I'm just going to hang out over here. And I'm like, yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah. It's just sad. I'm like, I don't want to bug those people again. <laughs> Come back over here. What the hell? <laughs> Funny. Yeah, see, I don't go to concerts, and that's part of the reason I'm not a crowd <laughs> person. I totally under, that's the nice thing about this place because I what it's, do you think it's, it's six, all assigned five, seating. six hundred? Yeah, maybe, maybe it may be a thousand. I wouldn't hard even say, to tell. I, know. I would say about six, but it's assigned seating and they're all plush seats, mm -hmm. and you really oh, nice, yeah. And it's every seat's a good seat, like it's all there's yeah. plenty of bathrooms. There's not a bad seat. They have uh, they have a bar and you can take your drinks, there's well, two they bars, have beer, so wine, good. and rice vodka, yeah. And you can take your drinks to the seats. And so it's it's kind of like total old guy concert. You know, yeah, it's not the young kids like, yeah, we're getting after it. It's, it's like, not a heavy metal show. It's no. uh, Rick Springfield. So. 4, PM, 4 p.m. dinner buffet. Yeah. Totally. And you totally realize. <laughs> it's a dinner and a show. <laughs> like for me, I totally realize like, yep, I'm totally over the hill because right. I'm not going to like the days on the green and, you know, yeah, these and rock that festivals shit. and, I'm you know, like, come see Slipknot. Do they have a bathroom? Can I sit down? Right. I'm like, these are oh, rules. look, we're, let's see. This year we saw Toad the Wet Sprocket and Rick Springfield. I'm getting <laughs> after it. Woo. You know. And I love Toad the Wet Sprocket. They're still, they're still together. Oh, they were. They I'm were a huge great. fan. And they were. Freaking they are amazing awesome. live, honestly. They're yeah. tight. Yeah. And, tight. and again, in, yeah. at the same place. So we're like sitting in our seats going, oh, yeah, we're, if we had a broken hip, we could still watch the show. This is awesome. Oh, you my know. gosh. <laughs> nice. It's good. Um, actually, what was the last show you were at? Did, did you, were you ever a concert goer? Uh, I've been to about a handful. My last experience was actually awful. I was... I'm like forcing myself not to say it, uh -oh. but now the spotlight's on. So right. there we go. Oh, sorry, right. sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it's just like I'm not trying, like I'm not trying to one up the terrible, but this was a really bad one. Uh, well, first of all, I have it was other Brad terrible Paisley. ones we can talk about. Oh, Brad Paisley. Nice. Yeah, Dawn's a big fan. I am not. <laughs> right. <laughs> so the long and the short of it was, I had a beer poured on me by this insanely drunk young lady. Oh, wow. Mm. Like and by it, accident or like she actually poured it on you? Uh, well, no, she didn't do it to be a bee. She okay. did it just she did it because, well, she had no control of anything uh, else. Right. She was oh, just drunk. Oh, gotcha. So. And then her friends were so great. She They let her go get another one. Oh, and on, nice. And on the way, this. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, is that a cat? <laughs> I'm twisting a knife in it now. Oh, I wonder yeah, if it's easy. that lady who fell down the stairs last night. <laughs> she She's fallen and she can't get up. Yeah. Anyway, so. So she spilled a beer on me and started to walk back to get more beers, which is exactly like, what she needed. Right, you're like, right. And somebody had, no. gotten, <laughs> somebody had gotten sick. She was in flip flops. So naturally, she was smart oh, enough to nope. stop and nope. kind of ice skate in the vomit. Nope. Oh. Nope. You know, oh. when she was done playing, they they sold her beer. That's the part that wow, that's really? the part that makes me well. I mean, it's Georgia. I guess right, um, you know. Yeah, I guess it's okay to like die story, drinking Roy. beer. I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so so I'm wet. I'm kind of grossed out. Beer. <laughs> I'm, oh. Yeah, which really put out my fire. Yeah. Oh jeez. You know, listening to someone I really didn't want to listen to, and but you know, it's it's just one of those stories when I need to say I love my wife. Here we go. Right. <laughs> Boom. Go slide and vomit. Oh, and okay. Oh Woo. god. Ooh. Oh. All right. Shake your glass. Shake your glass. Yeah, okay. Shake your sorry. Glass. Oh god. Wash it off. Wash it off. <laughs> <laughs> Wash. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. I was uh, at a rock show uh, mm -hmm. one time, and uh, in the balcony is where the bar is, and the floor is uh, all ages, and uh -huh. so I was in the balcony. And my significant other at the time was a very large man. And the drunk guy in front of us spilled, was so drunk, again, just like your scenario. Yeah, but scenario. explain large. It's it, large because somebody <sighs> might be like, oh, yeah, so he was, you know, uh, almost six feet tall and mm. 200 pounds. He was... A basketball player, six foot seven. And 
about what two? Oh, two fifty. Yeah, two fifty two. So, so a, a two seventy maybe. <laughs> a very large man. Um, One of those when you turn around, like if someone my size turns around and sees him, you're like, uh, I'm gonna go way over there and all the way around you. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so the very drunk guy and his girlfriend in front of us, um, he, I I can't remember how, how exactly it happened, but they were annoying the shit out of us for like 20 minutes before. And then... They had really foamy coffees, probably. Right. <laughs> jerks with their stupid milk foam. <laughs> <laughs> but so at one point, the girlfriend is super drunk and hits the boyfriend's just return with more beers because you're right, that's what they need. Mm-hmm. And she hits him, gotcha. and it splashes on my significant other. And Are you not allowed to say his name? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> so just we had before. So I I'm was like, just trying not to. I'm like, did you talk to him? And he says, don't say my name anymore. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, um, and he just. This is Dr. Claw voice. I know, right? <laughs> he, he doesn't need to. He just stood up. And the guy, literally, the look on his face was like. <gasps> and he just yeah. looked up and up and up. And he's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry we'll go we'll go i'm so sorry and he and it took uh it took him a minute like he just stood there like looking at the guy going <sighs> yeah and he he has a very and, and, pleasant looking he's right. a ple- but if he just from obviously the pictures i've seen if he has a look too that if he wants to look mean it wouldn't take a lot to do. Like he's got the face that you're like, oh, that seems like a friendly guy, and, but he's doing that, and now he doesn't look very friendly anymore. <laughs> well, when yeah, when you spear, when you spill a beer on a guy who's six foot seven, and he instantly stands up and glares at you, you're like, oh shit, yeah. oh shit. It must be so interesting <laughs> to have the size that it's like you can be a really good fighter. But I'm so big that it's going to take a while for me to even feel what you're right. doing to um, me. He actually told me once that he tried really hard to not get in fights because it's that thing where the cops He's come and they take one look at you right. and take one look at the other guy and then you get arrested. Yeah. yeah. And he's him, just like, dude, I, I, I can't. Yeah. You know, like, we're all going to jail now. Yeah. Like, because you're an asshole, we're all going to jail. Yeah. 5'10", <laughs> you know? so. 175 pounds. I could probably run at him as hard as I wanted to and be like, ah, and he'd be like, oh, you're That's cute. So cute. You are a pretty little baby. <laughs> totally. Like, Let me know when you're done. <laughs> then totally. Like, yeah. You're such a pretty but, little uh, thing. Don't you wish the video was on on my end? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a visual going. Right. Yeah. Nice. But uh, so, yeah. So anyway, we, uh, he just said, he's like, it's all right. But I think that uh, you guys have probably had enough to drink. <laughs> and, and I like very... Uh, cautiously put my hand on his arm and I said why don't we just go down the floor and he's like yeah why don't we and I'm like yeah okay cool let's uh just do that but the the best thing the best <laughs> visual is so he's six seven to six I think he's a little he's 270 yeah yeah and Annalise is just over five feet and one 15 to 20 soaking wet <laughs> So uh, there's things like when I see, like, think of them together, I'm like, how did, how does, I don't need Easy. to think about Yeah. Easy. But I'm like, the, the, it's like <laughs> mini me. I'm like, did he just carry you around? He put you in his pocket? Were you like in his shirt pocket? Somebody asked me that once. Um, I, you know, what's really funny is we used to get all the time at the grocery store, like, wow, he's really big and you're really little. And I'm like, no shit. <laughs> yeah. Really? Weird. What? Can you just ring us up and beg our groceries? I would I would, <laughs> I, I would think for like for you guys to hug, it was a chore for him. He's like, oh, I got to do for a squat or it some incline pretty- <laughs> press or something. Uh, yeah, well, anyway. So Dawn and I are like within a fraction of an inch, sorry, Ryan, of each other. <laughs> and, um, we are uh, six oh, fours. That's good, right? Within the zone of each other. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's like good for kissing, but like putting my arm around her, it's almost oh, like right. It, oh, it's right. almost like I gotta be like Riggs and and pop your throw out sh- my uh, shoulder. Oh, to, I, you know what? I didn't I've even never think, think of that. about that. Yeah, yeah that's you're something right. Yeah, I would so, never think because I'm tiny. So obviously, like, so it's that awkward. You know? Like you're both at the same height. You're like, oh, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know where to put my. Arm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to put my arm. Right. <laughs> Let's just hold hands. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. That's what, oh, oh that's you know what? 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 Um, at the show last night, or at some point during the show, I lost my eyeglasses. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, Your reading glasses. My reading glasses. And um, did you call? Um, did you call? I, I didn't call the uh, the theater to ask them, um, but I went to the restaurant they were at before because I thought that maybe I yeah. lost them at the restaurant. And so I swung by there today on my outings this afternoon, 
and um, they didn't have my eyeglasses. Mm -hmm. But, but they the, had this Rolex that someone left behind, and I said, yep, that's mine. <laughs> but what they did have was a velvet buckled high heel. One. Just one. Oh, from the dance last night. The left one. Yeah, from last night. And, to the left, to the left. And, and I had the hostess, a waitress, and the bartender come over, and the bartender was hilarious. He's like, are you sure this shoe wasn't yours? Because if you lost your glasses, and you, maybe you don't know she lost a shoe. <laughs> I was leave? like, dude, that's hilarious. You must be saying my name's Annalise, not Cinderella. <laughs> I just looked at him like, that's, have you seen me? That's not my shoe. And the and the other waitress looks at him. She goes, she picks it up and she's like, dude, that's not her shoe. <laughs> that's like twice, that's like half as big as she that's, is. That's her boat. <laughs> it was like this how huge wedge. one shoe? I'm, I, that was kind of the ongoing joke. So and she's like, yeah, we don't have any glasses, but we have this shoe. Which is really fun because this this <laughs> restaurant is in downtown Napa, and it's a it's a really nice restaurant. Um, and then on was it Friday and Saturday nights it turns a into club. a dance club. Well, I think they're just trying to get more revenue because if it's it's a wine tasting town, it's a tourist yeah. town, so it rolls up at like ten o'clock at night, right. nine ten, and so they're trying to just yeah, it's one of the few places to yeah. And there's only two or three places in town that are open past ten. Yeah, and that's one of them. So. And apparently, if you go there, you can rock your socks off. And lose a shoe. And lose a shoe. But apparently not glasses. <laughs> they did not have my eyeglasses. So. Yeah, you should have told them they needed to check the camera at midnight to see who it was. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Giant That's pumpkin funny. rolls through the door. Roy, have you ever lost something um, when you're out at like a rock show or dinner You or just something? want to say rock show over I know. And over. I love saying rock show. Oh, <laughs> no. It was a um, folk show. Yeah. <laughs> I always... Each one cross yeah. through yeah, exactly. I always get paranoid that I like if I have a few beers. And then well, that's the next, exactly what happened. I had a few beers and I left my glasses somewhere. The next morning, I'm like, "Where's my phone? Did I remember <laughs> to get my credit card back?" You did. You got up like at some point. And you're like, I'm, "I was like, are you getting up? You're like, no, no. I just got to see where my phone is.'" And I'm I, like, "Uh, okay." I have these really <laughs> weird paranoias, and like when I'm out, I'm always checking my pockets for my keys. Like I'm always afraid I'm gonna lose my keys, whether I'm drinking or going to work i'm always checking and so i am too because if you've ever locked yourself out you know you gotta check right. yeah <laughs> yeah and well we have a couple different scenarios to, to get in the house that we won't say on the air but um, we just leave everything we have backups. Open. yeah we just we have a pit bull it doesn't matter when we had, yeah, when we, when we had a doberman and a pit bull come we on just in the left house we dare you. Open. Yeah, we're like, yeah, you, if you can get it good for you you earned it <laughs> yeah. you gotta earn right. that tv sucker <laughs> But, Which um, is funny because I think if you walked in the house and told both the dogs like, oh, good puppies, they would have both been like, okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. I'm would a have good been dog. Rub my belly position. Right. Yeah. Who's a good dog? I'm a good dog. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know who I this good dog is. So I understand. Oh, that's right. That's, <laughs> that's right. right. Yeah. So Okay, I have another question for Roy and okay. his rock showness. Okay. On the way home at night, do you get food? <laughs> he just gave you the horns. Nice. Yeah. Horns. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Do, do you pick up food? And now, what are you is talking that rock food? show? Or are you talking when you're a little tipsy? Both. Or are they, is that are they the same thing? The same? I, you I don't. Tell me. Is there a difference? I don't know. Did you drive? No. Then it's the same thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Do you pick up food on the way home from a, a late night outing? Yes, usually. Always. Unless I've, unless I've eaten. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was I was told I needed to answer always. Oh, <laughs> nice. Um. We what, what are, did you uh, what do you get you pick, your, yeah what do you pick up well it depends what's open like <laughs> he's like whatever um, we can get <laughs> yeah right that's, and that's the truth too yeah. whatever greasy slop is available yeah for us like when i was back home uh i grew up outside of boston the place to go on the way back was a place called bill and bob's which is one of those that you wanted to get in quickly do your business and get out oh really bill and bob's i like it well now it doesn't seem so bad but you know, that was always the reputation it had, that somebody was always starting a fight somewhere. Mm. <laughs> right. And you get caught up in the fight if you don't get out? I guess. I mean, I don't remember the roast beef being slap the guy next to you good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah, yeah, I did. yeah the, I'm, you know, I'm a big guy, so chances are I'm getting food, going to or leaving from somewhere. <laughs> <It's> probably during. <laughs> probably <so>. during. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Well, yeah, our big our big thing is Taco Bell afterward. That seems to be our go to. 
But and we don't go out a ton, no. so we splurge a little bit on the nights we do go out, and we always get Taco Bell on the way home. And which when we eat absolute, it in bed yeah. at like midnight, which is killing my stomach. Yeah, which destroys <laughs> every time we do it. It destroys our stomachs for some reason, and we don't eat a lot of fast food. So yeah, we never eat fast food. And, we never do. Yeah, and but and every time. We do it the next day. We're like, we're not doing that again. You know, there's an in and out. There's an in and out next to the Taco Bell. We have yet to go to that in and out burger. We have. <laughs> this is interesting. So we're like about a mile away from like a little shopping center, and it has almost every. It single does. It has fast every food. single fast food available, McDon- including like an Applebee's, McDonald's, Burger King, nice. Jack in the Box, Applebee's, IHOP, Subway, Togo's, Denny's, yeah. Subway, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, yeah. Taco Bell. It has that um, smoothie place. Yeah. Uh, um, Whatever. Yeah. Smoothie King. So one of those. <laughs> right? Yeah. Starbucks. I mean, it has every, almost everything yeah. you could possibly, you know, not ever, but so many of the major fast food chains. And it's not a big shopping area. Yeah. It's at all food. All. It's all food. And we, and a have, Home Depot. <laughs> we have only and ever been to the Taco Bell. Do you oh, use really? the app? Yeah. I haven't. What's the app? What app? Taco Bell has an app where you can actually order your food and grow. What? what? Roy. You've just, you've just. Roy, hold on. I'm going to text you, Roy, with six exclamation points. Hold on. <laughs> you just Roy. rocked. This is, a, I, I'm looking right now. <laughs> Talk, Roy, you have changed our freaking lives. Freaking live Moss. That's all I can say <laughs> right now. I'm living Moss. So that's my, how little we have fast food. We did not know that. Yeah. And we have yeah. not been to any of the other places in that shopping center except for. We do want to go for, to In-N-Out. We want to go there, but we don't because we're trying to be good. And but when we have a few we drink drinks, our calories on yeah. the weekend. So yeah. and, it, and it's actually right next to my Daft Pod. Oh, nice! <gasps> he, oh my God, that's awesome! Take a picture. Oh. Let me see. I can't see from here. Well, I, I turn it around, oh, but we have the problem with. No, I'll text right. it to you. Yeah. Please do. All right, it'll be like a pee break. You guys talk and I'll text. Right, <laughs> right there do. you go. So, yes, but it and is interesting. we have a Dark Angels Pretty Freaks app. It's free. Please feel free to download that. Right. <laughs> I yes. use it. Because uh, apparently we think more of us is a good thing in this world. I, yeah. It was well, interesting. Mark used it too. I was surprised. I didn't think, I, thought, I figured he just listened like through the computer. And he's like, oh no, I have the app. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> wow. It's impressive. <laughs> oh, um, I know. I was like, wow. Right. What's up? Um, so speaking of which, um, I want to make sure that we thank everybody for all the congrats and well wishes for our year oh, pot anniversary. Oh, I didn't. You you are correct. We I know. We're just so interested in talking to Roy. I know. We forgot we're all free, the stuff we, we, we have. We actually <laughs> forgot that we had planned to say stuff. Uh, <laughs> we have like, some stuff we've got to cover. <laughs> yeah. The, everybody's uh, outpouring and support for our one year uh, birthday for podcasting. Which anniversary. Was, yeah. Yeah. It was freaking awesome. So many yeah. people, people that like, you know, because we interact. Roy, I'm sure. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I don't, did I do that? Excuse me. Pardon. <laughs> that felt good. Whoa. Um, I'm out of beverage, by the way. Did you want to go get more? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? <laughs> Roy and I can talk. It's, mm. Trust me. <laughs> it's not going to be You go ahead, problem. then I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, we, we can fill the time. Yeah. She's. Okay, we yeah. have to come over and say hi first. Okay. okay. Yeah. Do your thing. You're not going to say hi? I am. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. Oh, hold on. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, all right. I am officially on Elisa's biatch. There you go. Um, good. But yeah, so everybody that uh, shouted out for our one year, inter- it was interesting because there were people that like came out of the blue because, you know, you interact with your listeners on Twitter or whatever, and you kind of get uh, the quote unquote regulars. And then all of a sudden it was like, there were people that I'm like, who, who's this person? And they were like, Hey, congratulations on the year. You know, I've been listening since whatever week 30 or whatever. And I'm like, Oh my God, that's so freaking cool. It was really nice. Feels good. Yeah. Our 69th episode was our 50 shades of gray book to film podcast. That was awesome. That should have been a celebration. That w- yeah, we, that should have been pimped a little harder. Cause that was freaking awesome. I mean, what more? I wish we could have planned it. Yeah. (laughs) Right. Well, it was like we recorded it, and then I looked, and I, for some reason, I was looking at our list to see something, Mm -hmm. maybe a picture or something. I was like, you know, texting furiously, Sean, you wouldn't believe this. This is episode 69. That's. We couldn't have have planned this. (laughs) That was too good. And it was, it's so funny because when I first saw it, I was like, oh, do, do, do. And then when you said, yeah, yeah, it's, it's episode 69. I'm like, oh my God, it is. That's freaking amazing. How many, did anybody else catch on on that? No. No. Yeah. 
No, we like, don't. We we don't get we get a little interaction, but it's not like it's not like the interaction you all get. And well, you know what I think. Don't, I, don't I mean it's great. I'm part of the interaction, so don't feel bad. They, oh no, not at all. But I I was I'm just think, I was <laughs> nice to start crying. <laughs> I I think too. No, I, if I was to start crying, I would have cried when you guys said Jack in the Box because I live in the southeast, and that's Jack in the Box proof. Oh really? Why is that? Yeah. Uh, the, I don't know. It's just a West Coast thing. Is it? I did not know that. Yeah, Jack, when I when Jack we in the lived Box in is just Denton, a West Coast Texas. Thing. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, when we lived in Denton, Texas, we had one, but when we moved back east, it took us a long time to get a Whataburger, but that's two hours away. Wow, it's in Jacksonville. Wow, I um I did not know that. That's interesting. Um, Jack in the Box is oh nice is um is one of my favorite fast foods. I don't like the fries at Jack in the Box. But no, I do, no, no, I no. do, their tacos are freaking amazing. I remember the tacos. The I was like, tacos. you guys have Jack in the Box and you're going to Taco Bell? Yeah, I know. Maybe your stomach's telling you something. Right, right. And I really mm. like their burgers, too. I like the sourdough Jack. That's the yeah. only thing I ever get is the sourdough yeah. Jack. We're going to have to go hit And Hanno and I were arguing about how, how they didn't come with tomatoes or did come with tomatoes. I'm like, they did not used to come with tomatoes. He's like, they absolutely always came with I tomatoes. they did. I'm like, no, because I used to order all the time, just regular and not get tomatoes, and they don't like tomatoes, so therefore, right, you would know. now I have to order it without tomatoes. Right. And to I not have get, to to not get tomatoes, to or I have to open it up and pick them off. That was yeah. a big thing. Uh, my dad hardly ever went to fast food, but if occasionally he'd go when he was working. He'd go to uh, McDonald's. I mean, we're talking once a year or something yeah, <laughs> in the seventies, early eighties, and he'd get a Big Mac, but he always wanted it fresh. <laughs> nice. He always wanted it fresh, so he would ask for a Big Mac with no pickles. Because they had to make it fresh, right? So it was interesting. I'm like, you want, is there a taste difference between a fresh Big Mac and the Big Big Mac that's been sitting there for three and a half <laughs> minutes? I'm like, I don't know. You right. don't know. <laughs> that's funny. I do want to do in, in just talking about this. What I would like to do is a fast food extravaganza where we go down there and we get something from every single place. I would die. I would too, but it's a good way to go. I out. would throw oh, up and then die. I swear to God. No, you guys have separate <laughs> bathrooms, right? Uh, there are do. two bathrooms, we so do. yes. Yeah, I'm, regu- I'm uh, regulated <laughs> to the garage. Oh, well, not. <laughs> it's because we take a shower at the same time, basically. Is that why? Yes. <laughs> Is that what you tell yourself? And this bathroom's tiny. We can't have all the goods where, in there. Where are my clothes? Outside. In? The garage. Okay, with my <laughs> bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the the house is weird. This house is kind of strange. It's a it has a tiny amount of closet space, and the bathroom is also very small and doesn't have a lot of storage. And then there's one kind of pseudo linen closet that's also very tiny. Yeah, it's it's interesting for us. It's actually, but it has an oversized garage. Right for us so. is actually too much house because it's just us two. But it's a smaller house, and there's a full give, bathroom in the damn garage. I give up a bedroom garage. for a bigger closet. I give up a bedroom for like a walk-in well. Don't closet. get me started on your clothing <laughs> issues. Don't start. Oh, I was going to show. Just build up. Jesse's right. Good. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a uh, Jesse's girl. Thirty-five dollar um, freaking t-shirt. T-shirt, yeah. Yeah, that's... right. No, that's mine. <laughs> extra small. <laughs> well, let's show up a man boobs. I'm apparently uh, now Jesse's girl, so uh, mm-hmm. that's too funny. Yeah. Um, but so, what was he saying? His favorite fast food is? Did he ever say? No, we we didn't even talk about oh, that. Okay. But we're just saying that uh, Jack in the Box wasn't out there. Oh, I didn't know that. Like and Rogue One in North Carolina on the way to the mountain. But what about, about um, Carl's one. Jr.? Well, over here it's Hardee's. It's oh, right, Hardee's. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Isn't it like a, what is it, the best best foods turns to Hellman's? Hillman's, yeah. Hellman's. Hillman's. Hellman's. Hellman's. With an A. It's the mayonnaise. Yeah. Right. Uh, um, out, in, uh, out here in the Golden Gate Park where I work, there's a uh, bluegrass festival. Hardly every, Strictly? Yeah, every year, and Hellman. And the, it's free. The guy who uh, owned, he's passed away now, the mayonnaise, he put it on himself and paid for it all the time and left, left a trust. I, I think he died a couple years ago. Right. Left a trust so it'll keep going for a few years. Yeah. But they called it the Hardly Strictly Bluegrass Festival, and people like uh, MC Hammer. Yeah, big people play it. Big yeah, people play and it. he and, paid uh, for everything, yeah, and it was play, a free show for yeah. San Francisco. Yeah. And so that they, nice. they named they that still place do it every Hellman's year. Hollow. That's why I know it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So. Well. Yeah. But um, 
the Annalise you know, is a huge mayonnaise fan. Yeah, I am. I love mayonnaise. Oh, and butter. I love oh. almonds too. Mm-hmm. Butter and mayonnaise. I will put butter and mayonnaise on pretty much any food, anytime, ever. It's actually a joke right. with my family. Yeah, they actually make fun of me now where they like, hey, There's we, butter we got on the out table. some butter just might... in case. Do you need some more butter or is well, that enough butter for you? And I'm like, really? My mom will buy a sushi <laughs> and put butter on the table because then I'll be like, what are you doing? Like, well, Annalise might want some. I'm like, I don't think she's going to put butter on her sushi. And you know what? If you but put mayonnaise does. out there, I but probably would. never know. But she does. If you put mayonnaise out there, I'd probably put, but- put that on there. Put mayonnaise but- on your butter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's happened. I, uh, <laughs> I did want to tell a quick bathroom story. It's not gross, but it was... Oh. I know, but it was last, last <laughs> you night. You should see the look on my face. I'm like, what? <laughs> last night at Bilko's. Do you remember the story? Uh, I Oh, yes. And what's really funny is I kind of had to go to the bathroom, and they don't have the nicest girls' bathroom, so I don't. I didn't go. Right. But so you after, went to After the, the show, bathroom. we called a cab, and. He never came. We don't know if he came or someone I else think he took came it. To, yeah, I think someone else Which was it. fine. And so there's this place called Bilko's, which is right down the street from this theater. Right. And if you look on our Twitter, that's the picture we posted of like the 100 taps. They have 100 something. beers on tap or something, something like that. Like or that, yeah. 75. It's Crazy. ridiculous. Um, and it's like a pool hall. And it's cool. It's, it's more of a locals place. Yeah. Um, but obviously after the show, it was kind of busy. And yeah, and we it's decided, only a block away. So we, we decided there. we'd walk there and have a, have a good night beer. And uh, <laughs> a good night beer. There you go. <laughs> so I was going, I had to go to the bathroom and one of the guys, one of the bouncers who works at Bilko's, he's like, oh yeah, go ahead and go in. And I walk in and there's a guy and it's a small bathroom. It's one of those that has like one urinal and one throne. And typically it's only really one person at a time. I understand why the bouncer was in front of the bathroom. I guess he was bouncing the bathroom. Maybe, maybe, maybe they have drug deal problems or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And so uh, I go in there, there's this guy who's like, well, bigger than I am and kind of not the friendliest looking guy like he's going pee and he looks at me like what the hell are you doing in here which is the look i would give because he's going to the bathroom and i'm like oh the dude outside told me to come in and he's like oh okay so he you know i'm (laughs) peeing in the throne he's peeing in the urinal and he's like that was the weirdest thing when you walked in i thought like oh i'm gonna have to kick this guy's ass for walking in on me on the bathroom and i'm like yeah you kind of looked like you were gonna do that and he's like yeah but then you told me that some guy told you to come in he's like i thought that was the funniest thing ever i'm like yeah what a nice breaker i guess so (laughs) Like, yeah, so some guy told me to come in here and pee next to you. He's like, oh, okay. Fair All enough. right, then. <laughs> Is that the icebreaker? The, yeah. the bouncer said it was okay if I come in. The bouncer said it was Well, cool. awesome. Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't That's know. But weird. yeah, me and my, again, having to pee every 50 seconds. Or <laughs> for, for Ryan, every. Baby bladder. 51 thousandths of an eighth. Oh, ouch. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, I want to make sure I also thank um, Dork of All Trades for recommending us on their podcast about podcasts. Oh, nice. So um, thank you very much. That's, for that. very, That's nice. very awesome. Yeah. And uh, we should also mention uh, uh, Jamaica Cast or Rum Cast. I think it's really cool. Oh, crap. I pronounced his name wrong, so I'm not going to say it. The person, uh, I'm going to have to look it up. I'm going to try. But I know I'm going to do it wrong. Who are we talking about? Um, remember the shirt? The Jamaica Rum Cast oh, shirt? Oh, right, 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 right. So now you know oh, I'm going to pronounce the name wrong. He's I got to right find He's it. Right. Doug? Yeah, no. I, no Doug. <laughs> I'm just saying you can just go with You can just go with Doug. You don't know, I know if you say his doubt. last name. Yeah, right. It's, doubt. It's uh, very French. I right. Believe. But I think that's good because I, I have so much fun with it because my last name, our last name right. now. I, I'm going to try. Oh, and Snake How Oil. Did I, you read all the Snake Oil um, the uh, how to pronounce our last name? When yes, him and, oh, yes, hilarious. hilarious. We should have. We'll break. And those then the fight they were the picture means <coughs> fight with. Um, oh, that was Dave good the too. Nerd. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, we're I'm not gonna finishing any story, so I people know, have I know. no idea. What you we're have talking to look about. it up. So but, snake, um, snake oil, and uh, Dave from um, Dave the Nerd. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. The, our last name. I was gonna go with that one first. Dave, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, David. And what's his, David's last name? Mike mm. Myers, David Myers. Mm. They were uh, having fun on Twitter. Diamond Dave? Yeah, Diamond Dave. They were having fun with how to pronounce Don't start with you, Roy. Citrangolo, <laughs> and some of them were freaking amazing. And we're going to have to we'll have Crazy to write dingo. them down. <laughs> right. We'll have to we'll have to write them down and yeah, for sure. put them on cuz they were so them. good. I love it they when you so like good. like read the voicemails and read the stuff people tweet at us because I don't know why but it's actually funnier when you read it like oh, deadpan it, it's so good <laughs> and then dave the nerd and snake oil got into it because dave wants us to be on his show yeah the same we already have a date with snake oil 
And so Snake Oil's no, they're going to be on our show that day. And I, Dave and I had already worked it out. Yeah, but a Snake Oil day, didn't right? know. My man. Yeah, so right. they, they went off into, into this, a wrestling meme. It, it turned into like a two-hour oh, meme. It was hilarious. Fest. It was hilarious. So but, uh, check out Snake Oil Comics, Dave the Nerd. Yeah, Diamond Dave. But um, Snake I wanna, Oil's just in everything. I want to try to say Doug's last name. Let's right. uh, see, Doug Le Messier. Le Monsieur. Le Monsieur. I think I don't actually think that's his last name. I think Le Monsieur means the man. The man, huh? Doug the man. It took a couple years of French. You think I know? You that. Should have nickel on. Mm. But anyway, uh, anyway, he designed a shirt that said Jamaica, and then it said Rumcast 2016, which is because I had like Jamaica. Mine was ridiculous. Then Eric came out with Jamaica Cast, which was good. But I think Doug's Jamaica Rumcast is awesome. So anybody interested in joining us in Jamaica 2016? Um, Please, if you Whatever want info, it's called, be there. Yeah, if you want some info on the place we go, uh, I think we're up to eight people. Ten people are going. I, I mean, including significant others. So, um, I want to say I eight. Think, I think eight. Yeah. So it should be fun if it's and not. And of course, you don't all don't. Us. You don't have to hang out. Hang out with us. No, the that's whole not. Time no, that's it's, not. The it's thing a at all. resort yeah. and it's Jamaica. It's do what couple, you want to do. It's more of like a. It's a very romantic place. For some people, it's so. going to be a honeymoon. For some people, yeah. it's going to be a, a second honeymoon. For some people, yeah. it might be a renewal of vows. But it's just a romantic hangout, and we'll get together every now and then, maybe in the evenings. You know, yeah, here the late nights after beverages. dinners yeah. or something. Yeah. It's not like a oh, let's all hang out and podcast. Yeah, it's not like pod- no. all podcast all day. It's kind of a reason to just go and. If if you're gonna Be take a vacation anyway, might as well take vacation and with your friends or whatever. Be naked and drink rum. That's yeah. right. What? I'll be in the bathroom probably. Roy. Every five minutes. <laughs> Roy, Roy, we know what Roy's <laughs> after. Beach there. I listen to y'all. That's right. That's right. It happens. I don't think I'm gonna do too much new the new beach when everyone else is there. But uh, it um, would be interesting if everyone that ends would up be at the new beach. Awkward, be like, like, oh, oh hey. hey there, everybody. So. Uh, <clears throat> So this Anyways. is Herman. <laughs> <laughs> for those who just started listening, Herman is the oh nickname gosh. for my uh, oh. little friend. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> or as I like to call him. Oh, never mind. No. <laughs> no Herman. Not. He likes to call him yeah, Herman. Right, Let's right, just right. Uh, move on from that. Yeah. I don't know what time we're at. What do we need to do? Uh, oh, uh, we can we can start off. Our, no, no, no. Uh, I, um, I want to make sure that... Um, Roy um, pimps his podcast enough, and yeah. the fact that um, they have some really cool shit coming up. Like I've noticed that um, you guys are going to start doing some. Are you guys going to do more um, book versus movie stuff? I just want to make sure that we talk about uh, that Moving stuff the before. Needle. Yeah. Well, we're going to do some book to films. We just released our second soundtracks episode. I saw and I'm that. Very right? happy with that. And yes, more book to films like First Blood and Fight Club and Awesome Blackwork Orange. Ooh, nice. One of my favorites. You know, so, um, I just saw that the guy who wrote Fight Club just did some sort of um, like talk and thing because you know, he lives in Portland, Oregon. And mm-hmm. Powell's, they have uh, that really cool bookstore there and they do a lot of uh, talks and have authors there. And he just last week, I think, did a, some sort of Q&A. I wanted to um, ask Roy, since you are very much up on film um what are your feelings of all these remakes that are coming out or reimaginings or redoings reboots Re- remake reboot well, like, reimagine what, i don't know what that means uh they have what are they i agree with nancy Point nancy break. nice on pittsburgh nerd don't like it right <laughs> I, I take it on a case-by-case basis some of them are okay you know, if they remade Jaws, I would probably give up what I do. I will cut somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't get Annalise started on that. So, what about like Point Break and movies like that? Uh, that's blasphemy. I mean, yes. unnecessary. It's a cult classic. You can't do that. Yeah, I mean, I, I it's interesting because I kind of get it because there's you know we are now the older generation, and so I get well, that. Wait till we're dead. <laughs> I get that people that are coming up that are younger are like, wow, I really, you know, my older not, brother or my dad watched that movie. I don't movie. want them to make remake Never Ending Story. I don't want them to do that. I don't want them don't to ruin my childhood. I don't either. Yeah. Right? I'm notorious for not watching things. Oh. And I'm getting called on it a lot. Lately. <laughs> what I about- think that should be the quote. <laughs> Roy from Moving the Needle. needle. Mo- you know, they talk a lot about m- movies. It's known for not watching things. <laughs> oh, it's awful. It, it's it's terrible. Funny. And I just, I wish I had the time to sit down and watch it. But I don't, so too bad. 
Yeah, <laughs> we don't nearly watch as many movies as we'd like to, or as you'd like to. Right. But now with the, like, you know, we're getting the spring and the summer blockbusters, right. and I... I like almost everything, yeah, so I well, get excited. I heard they longer, wanted to remake Top so... Gun too. Yeah, I, I, <gasps> why? What, what? Yeah. Blasphemy, blasphemy! That might be just a rumor, but that's yeah. what I heard. Doesn't mean Ta- I know they've been them. talking about Top Gun two forever, but right? There, oh, just leave it alone. Just leave good shit alone. God. Yeah, I, I mean, come up with your own crap to do and mess up. Right. <laughs> Stop messing up other people's stuff. Wow. Someone's getting yeah, serious there you about go. It, I know. Man. I'm going to get all aggro on you here in yeah. a second. I'm going to get criticism yeah. sandwich up in here. <laughs> but I just wanted not to... For, not for me. Right. <laughs> I just wanted to get your take on it because I, I, everybody seems to have like... Because there are some people that are really excited about some of these remakes, mm. which is obviously the people making them. But <laughs> right. it would be interesting. Yeah. It's, well, yeah. it's just... It's it's such a slippery slope because it's like you have to honor the film and then you got to make it your own and then... You know, it's like you have all that pressure. Why don't you just change the names, a few details, and call it something else? Yeah. It's like they're redoing the Highlander. It's like unless you want to do it with new characters and eventually bring in Connor McLeod, you know, I mean, do something different. Right. You well, know? I I mean, like, I find it interesting, like, the whole issue with um, Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Mm-hmm. Um, how there a lot of people say, oh, like the, they didn't like the remake with Johnny Depp and he didn't pay homage to uh, Jane Wilder. And I'm like, of course he didn't because they're following the book, not right. the movie. That's a little. Not one of the movies based on the book. Why would you pay homage to Jane Wilder? I, that doesn't make any sense. And it had a different name too, right? Wasn't one Wendell, Willy Wonka and one was Charlie One is Willy, Wonka. right. Yeah. Because yeah. one followed the book more than the other. And so I'm like, why would you pay homage to Jane Wilder? He did a great job. It was a good movie. Right. But, but if, I can understand. If you're trying to make you know, another movie based more on the original book than you would right. not. That, that's that got to be tough too because when know. one is so beloved yeah, and then all of a sudden you come out and you're like, well, we're going to do this you different. You either completely absorb the beloved one or right. you ignore it right. and they ignored it. So anyway. There you go. Yeah, there are just certain movies you don't need to remake. Uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory was one of them. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's time for some new ideas. I mean, you can't reboot everything. Yeah, and it seems that people are trying. It's, I mean, it's, it's bizarre. Right. I mean, some of the movies, like Mad Max, I, I, I guess they're not redoing it, but it's kind of like the next version of Mad Max, mm-hmm. which kind of makes sense because, like, from what I, I don't know, but from what I, that's kind of like good. you're taking it the original looks story. Good. Like, I'm not even that into Mad Max. I've seen all of them and they're good, but. Right. I mean, like when I heard they were doing another one, I like I didn't have any desire to see it, and then I saw the trailer, and I was like, "Oh, right, huh. wow, yeah, well, I, I guess maybe I don't know." <laughs> yeah, I guess they want to redo Indiana Jones, and I don't know if they're trying to do it as in staying with the storyline, or if they're going to reshoot an Indiana Jones. Right, like unless they make him like his son or something, I don't. What? Which, didn't what, they do what that in the TV show? Wasn't there Young know. Indy? Or oh, something? No, anyway, it was the last one. It was <sighs> Shia LaBeouf. Oh, okay. Who's anyway. a sidekick? Anyway, sidekick. You want to do? Uh, <laughs> you want to do the favorite five? Oh yeah. Um, oh, there's totally something I want to talk to Roy about. Yeah, go. Damn it. I get can't after remember. it. No, no, it was like a movie based thing. But um, we'll talk about it. Um, we'll save it next time because you know what? We'll have Roy back. We're gonna have Roy back. That's right. Several times now that we broke in the ice. I know. I was starting to feel like there's a sign at B and B Burgers in Savannah that says "Free Beer Tomorrow." <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, because it was. It was like, yeah, okay, Roy, yeah, we'll get you on. We'll, it'll be good. We're, uh, we're uh, well, no. we actually don't have a ton of guests. I think this is our what, fifth or sixth guest total. I, I don't know. I mean, and it's funny because a lot of it happens almost like with salty language. It was one of those things that we were on their show, and you know that was a disaster. And so we were like, <laughs> oh, let's ma- make it up to you. We'll have you was on. Tipsy. <laughs> and then it, we were talking, and Annalise was like. Um, we, you know, we haven't had a guest on for a while. Let's have a guest on. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, yeah, who should we have on? And immediately, honestly, was like, we have to have Roy on. We've been wanting Roy on Aww. for a while. We've right. been telling him we're going to have him on. We need, I'm like, that's amazing. Yeah, of course, obviously. But right. it's so funny because at first, and it's hilarious of all the people we talk to and, and of all the, like, the Twitter engagements and the other podcasts, as soon as Ollie says we need to have a guest, my mind just goes blank. I'm like, of what I don't know anybody. I, I have what, a list. What I are we list. gonna have? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, Annalise was like Roy, and I'm like, oh yeah, right, okay, yeah, we'll find sure. out. If, 
where I can remind you it's like Wednesday. I'm like, well, find out if Roy's available Saturday because we plan well, these we things just great. Don't, we kind of record around the same time just because it's what our schedule allows. We're both very, very busy and we both have long commutes. We're telling the person with two kids. Yeah, I know. we're both really busy I, yeah, not yeah, having. I was kids. listening. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm just saying we we try to stick around the same time, not just because you know, just because it's easier for us to have like right, a set schedule. Right, because that's that's it. Because it's if easier you can, for um, us. Meet <laughs> us when it. it's convenient for us. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that's funny. But, but you right. know, I I put aside everything I needed to do and. You see where I am, right? I know that. We well, started the conversation. Room right now? Started. So right, he's doing laundry. Yes. No, no. Listen, I'm going to hit something, and it's not going to sound like a washer machine. Not, see? Nice. Well, yeah. I don't, nice. Actually, what is see that? is wrong. <laughs> right. I can't see him. I just saw. I just no, saw him I'm, that I'm, one time. There was cabinets behind him. My audiology office because. Could you imagine podcasting with a five-year-old and a one-year-old? No. No. No, <laughs> no I can't. We can barely podcast with a dog. So. Yeah, we can barely podcast, which we get so off topic I all know. the time that, no. But, yeah, I like how we're always I like. I hearing the dogs. Yeah. Or well, The dog, sorry. Right. No, that's oh. all right. Yeah, that's all right. It um, happens. Uh, yeah. It, well, it's, it's funny because it, it's kind of cool because one of the reasons when we started the podcast was like talking about um, – you know, freezing memories in time for uh, my sister's kids or anybody in the family or just friends that want to go back eventually. And they'll be listening to it and be like, oh, my God, that's, you know, that's Uncle Neil and Aunt Annalise and this and that or that's grandma. And, and so for me, it's, I haven't been able to do it yet, but it's going to be right. neat to it's be able to, to go, go back, back and, right now, but... and watch the videos and listen and know like. Yeah, you oh, can see Seven in the videos and you can hear him. Yeah, he so barks it's... and he talks and you can see him like come over to Neil and like put his, put his head, head on his my lap. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's so kind of cool. I mean, I'm looking forward that, that, now, that we so have that. So that is amazing. So, and it's kind of cool that it seems that most people actually enjoy it. Yeah, um, obviously. I think so. Yeah. I mean, we've had a lot of. Um, comments about that and uh, people um you know talking to us about uh, losing seven and stuff and so i think that it's actually one of those things that like bridges the gap between yeah people but it's know, so. it is it, it but yeah i think it's a little different versus having a one in a uh, it said five-year-old right yep having in the yeah in no the i just meant going, that like damn it i'm freaking hungry <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sure that we have any and more control podcast. over the dog though so <laughs> See, that's awesome because I, I doubt very many of the, your listeners know that I think we lost our dogs about a week apart. Yeah, that's right. Right. That's right. And right. So when, and and I we knew were that, the first course. two on the Stranger Conversations, so right. you know, I was trying to get the list of the next people and just be like, watch your dog. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, <laughs> it happens in three people. Have, threes. Threes. Yeah. I, Do you have I, a dog? Don't go on a show. Don't right. go on a show. I that joke with you early because... You know, it was just, yeah, it, it just wasn't ready. It wasn't time yet. Right, right. Well, it was, and it was interesting too when we were texting and, and, uh, we're like, hey, how's the weekend? And you're like, oh, we're just coming back from the vet. We had to say goodbye to our dog. And I was like, oh, I mean, immediately I was yeah. heartbroken, obviously, because yeah. I was like, oh nope. my God. And then after that, there was somebody else. Uh, and then what just happened to the angry ginger right with Jason's his poor dog, puppy yeah. that was terrible i know and i'm yeah. like well, i don't even know like, i don't, I don't know even know this I... whole story completely and i don't think i can no, handle no, knowing right. This story right i'm now, like so. i don't maybe i should not talk to my friends who have dogs anymore because right. like, apparently i'm hey, really bad I love you guys luck. but it'd be super awesome if we don't talk about that yeah i'm, I'm, I, uh, I'm sorry yeah i was i was about to explain what happened with jules and then i was like no no nope. yeah no nope. yeah i'm not ready we're not ready roy we're not ready but uh yeah. yeah, no, it's it's hard and like, yeah, yeah, but yeah. It, but it's cool because like we have that. I get to go back and you know, um, I actually I, I haven't I don't listen to a lot of the podcasts that I'm on because my my voice drives me crazy. But I know <laughs> like when I did Stranger Conversations with Grant, there's a there's a few huge seven barks, mm -hmm. and so I just it's nice for me. I just know in the back of my mind that one day I can go back and listen to that. And hear Bubba. So yeah. it's kind of nice. So Yeah. And Jules was, um, he was on my Stranger Conversations episode too. He, like his nails on the, um, on the floor. Oh, that's cool. It. That's cool. 
And I didn't hit the washing machine that episode. <laughs> <laughs> the train. Because now that, I've, now that I have two rooms for two girls, there's no such thing as a studio. Right. Plus I have cats. They'd knock over my, you know, mixer and, you know, then I'd have to yeah. kill them. Just sit on your computer. Or whatever. <laughs> how far is, how far is uh, the office from home? Two minutes. Oh, cool. Okay, nice. Yeah, my wife nice. has a brutal commute. Yeah, right. That's awesome. Very cool. All right. Do you want to do the, the favorite five? Oh, yeah, we should. Go cool. do it. Do it. So do our it, favorite yeah. five this week, um, I don't know if Roy says it's okay to say that it was his one of his many suggestions. With And Roy has a lot of brilliant ideas. He does. And I, he actually just has so a you know, idea I have copy-pasted them into my notes. <laughs> Roy has a brilliant idea of something that I, I'm going to do, which oh. you are going to like. And it's freaking awesome. And it's it's been, in, he's had this idea for a mm. long time. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Roy, oh, I think I know what it is. Yeah. Ah. So go- Roy, six exclamation points. <laughs> <laughs> so go on with um, your- Okay, so today's favorite five is uh, favorite five things about eating out. Mm-hmm. And Roy, as the guest, should go first. Number five, Roy. I agree. Right. My number five is more choices. Oh. You get to eat what you want, and you are not slave to what's available. And- what's in the cupboard? What's in the freezer? Right. <laughs> right. I and did not like even it, think about just- that, but that's brilliant. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. More. Like as soon as you said that, I'm like, yes. And I'm looking well, at my like, list going, oh, should, should I fit that in? Yeah. Should I move something around? Yeah, she's going to hobie this. Go I'm history. not going to hobie it. I'm just going to say it's awesome. <laughs> oh, no, I, I stuck at five. So yeah, I, I told Elise in a text that if you guys hobie a list, yeah. you should suck in a helium balloon first <laughs> and just <laughs> fire them off. I think that's that would good. Be awesome. <laughs> that's a good idea. Um, the one thing apparently it was such a good idea she didn't tell you right no because if you were going to do it I wanted to be surprised okay Um, (laughs) um, a couple people have said uh, about our show Mm -hmm. that they think our show is nice and they like it which is awesome but they said there's so many inside jokes that they don't know and I'm like we should so Hobie is is the History of Bad Ideas podcast and they do a a, A not a, a top five but, but it's they always, always honorable mentions brings 15. it to like 25 yeah, and they yeah. talk about it for like an hour. So, so. <laughs> we're going to try and be a little better of explaining some of the right. little inside so, uh, things. So history of bad ideas, so you should check that out. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I think, Sorry. you know, that's a nice, that's a great that's, idea. Let me copy paste that in my yeah, notes right now, Roy. Right. <laughs> um, I'll go next. So you can be the last one with your number one. Yes. Okay. My number five reason that I like going out to dinner, this is hilarious, is it makes me feel like an adult. I feel like it's such an adult thing to do. Like, oh, we're we're going out to dinner, and it's so ridiculous <laughs> because it, you know, as kids, you go. I did not know that. Oh yeah, I'm always like, oh, See, look at me, okay, I'm, I'm Roy, out to dinner. Here it is. One of the reasons we do this podcast is not only so we can talk about each other, but every now and then we come across these things, and I was like, right, we definitely. I don't know that. About yeah, I did not know that about you. Yeah. Because so I, I always think of myself. I did not know. I still think of myself as a kid and immature, and I think part of that is just because yeah. my hobbies and enjoyments are I'm also totally, like have the mentality of a ten year old boy. So whoa, like I don't ever want to hear that again. Yeah, you do. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really don't. I think you do. Yeah, it would have weirded me out if you would have said ten year old girl. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, uh-huh. I gotta go. So, <laughs> so yeah, my my number you five is the Dumb and Dumber. I want to make love to a schoolboy. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> That's right. I'll have uh, to find that. So number number five is I feel like an adult. That's awesome. What's your number five? Um, getting dressed up. Mm. Getting dressed up to go out to a nice dinner because um, typically my everyday life I wear a t shirt and jeans. And to be completely honest, I don't wear like the nicest t shirt. Like I have some cool t shirts, like comic book t shirts, or you know, um, you have about five thousand t shirts. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. but, oh um, you know, I just, uh, wear a t-shirt and jeans pretty much every day of my life. And so on the weekends, if you say we're going out to dinner, I'm like, Oh, okay, hold on. And then I'll go and like dig out the nicer clothes. And I'm like, hey, yeah, I get to do my hair and put on a little makeup and wear something a little bit nicer. And it's fun. Which it's- is funny. Cause when, when we're on vacation and we go out to dinner, which is on the resort, you have to dress we up. get yeah yeah and we get like actually dressed up like nice pants full dresses not well i'd wear a dress but that right. would be <laughs> but then it's so funny we come home and we're like dressing up to us is like i'm getting the nicer jeans out right and the nicer t-shirt <laughs> <you> right. <know? laughs> right but anyway i mean i don't do it very often and um you know it's just nice to uh to gussy up a little bit yeah or so that's my number five nice 
Does it make you feel more adult? Uh, no, but it, I feel pretty, pretty little I feel girl. Pretty. I feel pretty. Oh, so oh, pretty. Oh, yeah. So pretty, witty, and gay. Oh, and okay. Right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Nice. Stop it, sugar. Oh, we have to. We have to also say if anybody wants uh, any more stickers or guitar picks, right? Let us know, mm. and we'll send them to you for free. Yeah. There you go. Sorry, Roy. What's your number four? My number four is distractions. Usually. Uh, there's nothing more than a coloring sheet to distract the kids. We get to talk more. You know, I don't have to listen to Avatar or freaking Jake and the Neverland Pirates. <laughs> so it's like a finite amount of time that you guys get to spend, like, focused on each other, and there's not, like, TV and other stuff going on. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of distractions around the house. Like, you know, if there are dishes in the sink, you're like, oh, I got to do the dishes. Now, oh, when yeah. you're at somebody else's place... And, you yeah. know, it's just, you don't have to worry about it as much. Right. So I, I just like the fact that, you know. You have an emergency coming call? To, what's that? There's like a weird. Yeah, oh, okay. No, that's cool. I just, I, I was, I, I was got like, nervous. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? <laughs> it's an emergency. Yeah. All Take right, action. Good. Yeah. Tuck and roll. Just Tuck and roll. <laughs> nice. Um, no, that's a good point. That's Yeah, I, because I, you kind of sit there and you focus on each other when you're home. You do another stuff. Yeah. The TV's on maybe and. Yeah, or like in our cases, it's cell phones or iPads. Well, and, and then in our case, I get home so late from work that literally I come in, we have like a half hour of time where I kind of play with the dog and chat with you a little bit. Yeah. And then we sit down and we eat. And we usually eat watching a TV show because we only get to watch like one TV show and then we have to do other stuff and then we go to bed. So right. that's it. Yeah, I would imagine too with fireman's hours. Um, we get up around four ish and then we just go, 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 go. And then I get home around five 30. Yeah. It varies. No, it varies between, but but because I need to be, I turn into a pumpkin at about 8 PM. Right. So, So, and we, you know, have, so I have like three hours or two and a half hours of time at home with him and the pets that I have to play with them, eat with them, watch TV, get ready for tomorrow. And then yeah, I mean, it's, it's it. not it's not rush, but, you know, like you were saying, right? I mean, going out gives you that, it's just that focus of you're not worried. <sighs> about, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And, yeah, that's cool. And I would think with kids, well, the nice thing is your kids are still, you know, young, so they're not on their iPhones yet or right. <laughs> wanting to get away and go hang out with their Wait friends. Wait till that happens. But I would think, no, yeah. They're the, they're the ones telling us to get off the phone. Right, right. right. right yeah. But I would imagine being able to go out and, you know, whether it's a, a friend's house or out to dinner and just have them where you can just kind of be there with them and not think about all the other stuff has got to be pretty cool. Yeah. And that's actually yeah. one of the things I like about vacation that um, we get to kind of tune out a little bit and focus on each other. And I get, right. you know, kneel to myself and all of that. And so. Which I, is why I'm always big on, you know, it doesn't have to be an expensive vacation, but I always think that like. We need to parents and adults, go away for a couple yeah, of days People or need yeah. to that reconnect, even if it's a weekend away. You know, it could be like, okay, we're dropping the kids off with grandma or grandpa or both, hopefully. Right. <laughs> and. Um, we're going to stay in a hotel down yeah, the street. But yeah. like you said, no distractions. We, we don't like have to worry about paying the bills. You and me alone for two days. Yeah, <laughs> and just to get, you know, even if it's just we're going to sit and read, you yeah. know, not necessarily, but just that that being together and connecting in a way that, because, you know, you know, being married, it's like, you know, it's bills and kids and, like you said, dishes and dogs and, you know, <laughs> right. this Stuff, and that. Right. Yeah. And yeah. then it's just to let all that go away and be like, oh, we're just going to sit here and, We'll worry about We're that in a couple days. Chillax it out yeah. for like two days. Yeah. Yeah. The best part is to just sit there with a cup of coffee and not have to be somewhere. Right. 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 Oh. Those are the best vacations. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which is which is why we do what we do because you can't do anything else but just be there and relax. Yeah. It, it's almost you have like, nowhere to go. You have nothing else to do. You know, <laughs> it's <stuck> like there. <laughs> the, during the year as we sacrifice to be able to do it, we realize it's worth it because we need that to re you know re-energize right like you literally the day it. we get there we're just like oh yeah it's yeah so anyway, anyway so, so what's my, your number four my number four is uh cheating on my diet oh i try, I try <laughs> to also eat, brilliant but i did not put that on right my i try list. to eat fairly healthy he eats super healthy and to the point where i'm like great well, not, salad not super healthy <laughs> uh like i said oh, I seem look, to, on the salad. weekends i seem to drink a lot of my calories <laughs> Uh, and I love sweets, but I've tried to knock that. But when I go out to dinner, I think that that's like 
the green flag to get whatever I want. Yeah. And I'm Limiter like, override. I'm like, yeah. Is there any way that you could put this steak on a pizza and then top it with chicken wings? That would be yeah, really um, good. Could you top Trenched this with in chocolate? Yeah, butter exactly. And Hollandaise mayonnaise? sauce. Yeah. So, yes. yes. Yeah. It's, 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 so for me, it's always like, we're going out. Oh, sounds awesome. <laughs> <And it's, laughs> yeah. Now, Annalise, what's your opinion on sour cream? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes and more yes? Um, it depends on what it is, but in a general statement, yes. Yeah. Okay. I've actually, as a snack, had sour cream and bananas, and if you've never had that, you should try that. I've never had that. Sour cream and bananas. I will. I, I try not to be afraid of new food things. It's and apparently if you look at me, you know, a German <laughs> snack. <laughs> I have so. no fear. That's great. <laughs> Uh, um, so there's a couple things on my list that make me sound a little bit lazy, but I'm okay with that. Okay. Because I think that's part of uh, the going out sure, experience. Sure, I would um, say. My number four. Who listens to the show knows you're not lazy. And <laughs> lazy so. I just said a good if at four o'clock every day. So um, my number four is someone else cooks. We yeah. go out and someone else Makes the food. How how often do you make? I don't. Dinner? But that's just it. <laughs> I don't. That's great. You make the food most of the time, right. but it's also the fact that. But it's a even distraction. When I, well, yeah. So yeah. you're cooking for like the first half an hour of my two and a half hours when I get home. So right. therefore, I only get you for maybe two hours, including getting ready for bed, maybe watching that one sure. episode of Flash no, no, I know what you're saying. I was, I was just playing. So no, I, um, I like that someone else is taking care of it. Yeah. You know, like, um, oh, yeah, I got this. So we're going to cook that for you. It's going to be fabulous. I'm like, hey, you know what I want? And they're like, yeah, I'll make it. And right. I'm like, yes. Yeah. Let's do that. And you don't have to get a fork. You don't have to get <laughs> refills. You right. don't have to. Well, and then, like, you know, do I have that kind of saute pan or a crepe pan? Because you know what? I don't. Right. So, it was funny because like- <laughs> last night when we were out, so they were like, okay. I told Annalise, I'm like, did you want to get another drink here? And she's like, no, 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 we should go. And so the guy brought the check and... We were looking at the time, and I'm like, we, we do have time. And, she, you know, Annalise is not a big beer or wine person. Uh, and yeah, and he's like, you know, they only have beer or wine at the Uptown. Yeah, so... well, we knew they had the rice vodka, but it's not, you it's know, n- yeah. this little place has like a berry. Would you and get a berry? Yeah, and berry it's like martini. $10 for like a rice vodka small beverage or something. So, so Annalise is like, yeah, so the guy comes back, and I'm like, I'm, uh, I'm really, really sorry. I know you just brought the check, but uh, we wanted to get a couple more drinks. And he's like. Don't be sorry because you want to spend more money here. Because <laughs> right. that's totally fine. And it was it was, was funny because like, I felt bad. I'm like, oh my god, I, I know you just brought this out. And I was thinking, I'm like, yeah, I guess it's for him. He's right. like, I don't, yeah, I'm gonna he, walk he, back he over there. Really well. He laughed yeah. and he smiled. He's like, absolutely. Like, I'm, nah. sh- I'm the bar is right here. Let me get that for you right mm-hmm. now. I'm like, yes. <laughs> but it's funny, even going out, I'm always like, oh, maybe I should help clean up. Maybe, right. I don't want to. I don't want to put you out. Let me put my own order in. Let, just give me, <laughs> give me, yeah. So that's too funny. Well, see, I'm the I'm the worst. I'm like. You know, I always need like a new Diet Coke every time they come by. And it's just like, I feel so bad, but I tip. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. That's- so there's no Mr. Pink mentality with me. Right. And no matter how bad for, I know for me, like how bad the, the service is or how bad the food is, I'm never rude to the the people, the I well, wait staff. for me, it the, depends. The it depends. Right. I, know, I mean, the tip may be... Because I've been wait staff, and right. so I but, know if what they're doing is because of them or because of the cook. So. I, I may I may <laughs> not, you know, tip as well as normal, but I'll never be rude because I'm always thinking like, okay, the person might just be having a bad day. It might yeah. just, they might just be a little off and there's no need to compound that. I'm not having a good experience and I can handle that in a, in a, a way that's not rude. But because like sometimes I'll hear people that are like just being high... Uh, you know, and I'm yeah, like, for sure. No, you'll, not, you'll sit next to somebody that has all these demands and but I also, rude about it. I like, also, oh my God, those poor people. I'm also one of those people that if I, I like tipping because I like, I like the feeling of going out and when people are cool. And so if we get a, a fun waiter or waitress that, you know, makes the evening that much better, it's like, I have no problem leaving a really nice tip because that's part of the evening. You know, they made the evening more fun. So right. it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very rare that I go under 20%. You have to really botch the job. Right, right. Because I was right. a server too, and it was, I mean, right. if in I the have... Army, I did some things that weren't, you know, exactly pleasant, but I would <laughs> okay. do them again to not have to be a server. Right, right. Uh, did you want to Did you wanna go now? Is that what you were telling me? Annalise mm-hmm. is, is throwing up gang signs. 
I have to take off. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Roy and I can talk. Please. Yeah. It's don't funny uh, that you have to go to the bathroom. I know, me. right? Yeah. But um, don't do, so we're on number three, but don't We will uh, do not that do yet. it. Okay. We will not. Roy and I are just going to talk. Gonna talk about food we're gonna and talk about going out to eat. What? We're going to thank more people. Okay, yeah. that's, I'm putting my headphones back on. No, no, go, 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 <laughs> go, go. I like your headphones, Roy. Thank you. Yeah, yours look good, too. Yeah. I just got these. This is yeah. first time. What do you think? They work all right? Yeah, these Ben Ringers are something else. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was so embarrassed about that. Was so good. Um, Did you see me go like this to see if I only had one of those two? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's good. Um, I, I I used them to listen to the live show last night. Okay. And those who don't know, Seven Days a Geek usually throws out a live show every so often. How was the show? It was good. Yeah. Um, I talked to Jason and Grant a little bit. They said it was good. They said there were a couple parts that were a little train wreckish, but overall it seemed pretty solid. They had a good time. But those are the best parts. Yeah, they just that's it. relax. I know. I, I always I, I tell Jay, I'm like, dude, you got to just open up the phone lines and let it fall apart because it's, it's freaking hilarious. It's great. And, oh, yeah. And Jay, um, oh, it reminds me, you'll, you'll like this. Um, I was recording with Jay um, for Better Call Saul. I sat in because Nickel, Nickel couldn't be there. Um and we we were recording, and this is total behind the curtain because because Jay you know edits all this out. But all of a sudden, my headphones was this like weird, whispery, demonic voice, and I'm like, oh my god, there's freaking ghosts! And I and it kind of caught me off guard. And I realized that it's one of Jay's daughters, and she was telling Jay that he needed a sign, like a permission slip for science class. So she, I guess, she walked up to him and she's like, I need you to sign this for science. But in my head, it sounded like, rah, 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 rah. and I'm like, oh my God. And Jay's like, I am Beelzebub and yeah. I'm here to get you. Totally. And I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, uh, and Jay's like, hold on, hold on a second. And so he's talking, he's like, what are you doing? Why are you coming in here now? And the greatest thing is, I mean, it's so, kids can be so cute. And so she's like, still whispering, like, I know I need you to sign this for science. And he's like, no, I understand, but I can sign it in 15 minutes. Hold on. So, you know, he went back and, and edited that part out. And I so badly wanted him to leave it in because it was just so – my reaction is like like I got freaked out. I'm like, what, what was that? What, what, what is going on? Who, who's well, that? Well, see, when, when we did Gotham Nights together, I didn't hear that train noise until I went back and heard the show. Oh, that was the best thing. Best so, thing. So, like, oh, you guys funny. were like, oh, what is that? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, what is that? What are you guys hearing? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't have no idea what you're talking about. That's yeah. so funny. I wonder whose phone it was on. I don't, I don't know. It must have just been some traveling Wilbury, so to speak. But it, uh, it was hilarious because it sounded just like a train. <laughs> I know. I have, a train, I have train tracks, like, a quarter of a mile. Sorry, 0.25 miles. Nice. <laughs> good. My, very good. Very good. my back door. And it's... I was podcasting at my kitchen table. By that door, so I'm used to hearing trains. Oh, so it was a train? No, no. Okay, not this time. He didn't okay. hear it. He saying, said that I, on his, he didn't hear it on his end. I so it was on someone world, else's. That's I have awesome. real world experience. That is so cool. That is so cool. All right, so sorry. There's, no, I'm back. there's my my little. But I'm yeah. <laughs> it sounded like the, the. I do. Thank you so much. <laughs> sounded like they had a good show. I, I heard the chat room was very active and fun. So Eric said it was fun. From, Lady yeah. E from Ladies Night. It, it was. Nice. Yeah, it's it's nice to get to know some of them. It was a lot of fun when we were online and we were just rooting Charlie on for getting laid after Fifty Shades of Grey. No, <laughs> that's oh, right, oh, that was right. great. Nice. That was great. Well done, sir. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Roy, what's your number three? My number three is just getting out of the house. Mm, yeah, right. that's always... <laughs> it's funny. It's funny, too. Going out. Yeah, regardless of, of yeah. what it is, sometimes just leaving the house, you're like, oh. It's nice out here. We should. We should. Outside it, is nice. The weather doesn't even matter. Like here, it can be pouring rain, and we'll be like in for two days. And then we're like, oh, maybe we should run to Target and pick up some stuff. And you get outside, and you're like, well, oh, we're human. We can be outside and interact with other things. This is great. <laughs> See, this is the best time of the year because the humidity is not too bad, and mm-hmm. you know it's 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 creeping into the 80s now. Speaking of which, you didn't do a weather report. I have it right here. I'll do it before we go. Oh, that's right. Yeah. What is and, the weather? Uh, what is the weather that like, so you're? It's creeping into the 80s. That's kind of nice. Mm. Yeah, it's it's good. It, it's good until about June, and then it's then I'm in for the summer. We you know, uh, then it's like the Robin Williams weather report from uh, Good Morning Vietnam. <laughs> oh, right. The weather oh, outside is hot and shitty. <laughs> right. Yeah. We've been invited. I, I don't like it when it's humid. We've been invited to go to Georgia. I really want to go to Georgia. So we should go to Georgia. Mm. We should yeah, do so just we a should. tour. There's beach here. Yeah. yeah. 
That's right. It's not just a California thing. That's right. We don't we don't believe that. It's only a California thing. Well, <laughs> and Hawaii and Jamaica. But besides that, <laughs> no other beaches exist. Well, no, that that's is the true. best part about being in the Army is you actually met people who saw the ocean for the first time with you. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I would have that's kind of cool. In basic training, you actually meet people who actually put on their first pair of shoes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, oh, well. right. <laughs> well, there's one that I'm still kind of on the fence thinking he might have. Really? Yeah, he looked like Captain Caveman. Oh, it was pretty awesome. That's great. <laughs> You're like, yeah, uh, the, this is going to be tough on you. <laughs> you, know, you know, since since we're, we all were like in the same high school age together, you know, I could say it to you, they were... Now it would be like Duck Dynasty, but back then he had like the ZZ Top beard. Oh, okay, cool, very That's nice. Funny. That's I great. know you were just looking like, where is he going? Yeah, with this? like <laughs> yeah, and I was right. going somewhere for a change, <laughs> <laughs> which is more than typically we can say. Right, we just kind of meander around. Yeah, today I was, for... just, I was just talking about me. You're your worst critic. Oh. <laughs> Well, we had Mark, this my poor guy, was like asking us a question, and we ended up somewhere five miles away. Yeah, like ten away. minutes later, we're like, "Wait, what was your wait, question?" What was your question? He's like, "I don't know." <laughs> like, okay, sorry. <laughs> he was a good sport, though. Yeah. But see, those are the best. That's what I love about our show. When we go off topic, oh, it's not sure. a big deal. No, yeah. no, no, no. You know, we're not one of those that go ape shit when it happens. Right. I love the fact that I can curse on the show. By the way, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Not that I can't curse on my own, but sometimes yeah, sure. you just, sometimes a fuck is just necessary to describe a situation. It, it, absolutely. I agree 100%. We are um, terribly lacking in euphemisms so far on this podcast. But... Really? You, you you brought up a 10-year-old boy, so I cannot have any I, that's euphemisms. That's not a euphemism. <laughs> can't drop a euphemism after that. All right. My number three is trying new things. It's kind of fun because you get go out and try stuff that, I mean, I'm, 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 Roy, I'm like you. I'm not afraid of trying, you know, new foods, but I'll actually sometimes seek it out just because it's fun. I just it's something different instead of uh, you always have your, you know, your fallbacks. You know what you're going to like. But it, I think it's kind of fun to look at the menu and be like, huh, these medallions of salmon slug sound good. Oh, I'm going to try that out. Uh. Yeah. I didn't know the Kentucky Fried Chicken started serving those. <laughs> <laughs> right? God. Last, well, last night uh, we went to Chili's and they recommended ranch dressing with their chips and salsa. And I was like, man, let's go for it. Yeah. There you so go. They, said, they didn't make me pay the 89 for whatever size bowl they give you. But <laughs> they gave us the little thing. And Amelia, who's my five-year-old, and I tried it. She's She's pretty fearless when it comes to ranch. That's awesome. Right? Oh, that's, there you go. <laughs> I am too. Yeah. But she ranch loves on it, the sour not a problem. Cream and the queso. And yes. Oh, so that... it was in the right color family. So Right. Right. <laughs> that's great. But yeah, we, we love um we love Mexican food down here. Not that chilies is Mexican food. I get it. But <laughs> right. you don't want you I'm, don't... I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure it's Tex Mex, but it's it's something. Yeah. They just they just changed their menu again too. Now they're it? like all in on like, you know, um, a lot of Mexican foods. Oh, but that's they still have ribs and burgers, so it's all good. That's cool. But is uh, Chili's the one that has that little zone where they actually make the tortillas in house? That was Chevy's. For Chevy's. A while. Yeah, then Chevy's. they don't have that. They still make them, but they, they used to have it where it was out like as a display where they made fresh flour tortillas. Right, and there was like a little lady that sat there and made tortillas like all, all day, day long. long. And I'm like, yeah. sorry, lady. Can yeah. we get two more of those? <laughs> and there's nothing like a, a fresh ta- flour oh, tortilla. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm, it's like yeah. breadsticks at Olive oh, Garden. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh. You're like, we're going to need 26 of these. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Mexican restaurants have it dialed. They're like, here, free chips. Mm-hmm. You just fill up on these, buddy. Yeah. It's like rice. <laughs> yeah. Fill up on rice. Uh, yeah, right. but it, I end up garnishing it with an eight dollar queso. Right, <laughs> right. right. <laughs> All right, dear. What's your number three? Um, again with the lazy. Uh, I like being served. I like being like, hey, here you go. Hey, oh, do you need that? Let me get that for you. Oh, hey, I'll get that for you. Right. Hey, do you want a refill? You know what? I do. It is nice, but you're also <laughs> a very nice. I mean, it's you're also a very nice patron. You're not like a "Hey, serve me" kind of person. No, for yeah. sure. But I just I, right, I, exactly, I, exactly. Chop, yeah. chop, yeah. chop, garçon, chop, chop. chop. Yeah. <laughs> no, I That's mean, I'm like, hey, hi, <laughs> right. hey, oh, yay, oh, look, he brought me a new soda, yay. Yeah. He, like, literally, if you refill my soda, we're best friends. I'm oh like, yeah. That's amazing, dude. 
he just refilled my soda. Yeah, and it's so <laughs> funny because we are we're both kind of that like. Uh, oh, would you like another soda? And it's like, oh, sure, if that's okay. And they look at us like... Uh, that's my job, so... Yeah. First yeah. of all, buddy, I don't own the restaurant, so I could care less how much soda you drink. <laughs> Second of all, I have to bring it because I can't let you go get it yourself. So if you could just be normal about this, it would be great. I'm like, oh, Yeah, we're both like a little bit overly nice. The waitress and I are I'm, best I'm friends now. Like, I'm just like, I don't want you to make a special trip, but the next time you come back... I do right. that all the time, and I get I mean, similar looks. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm desperate, I'll put my empty glass, like, towards the end of the table just because, like, I'm really thirsty. Right. And I'm, but, I'm, but it's very subtle. I'm trying not to be a jerk. I'm just going to push my empty glass to the end of the table. Right, I'm just right. going to put this here. I'm going to put this right here. Right. But, like, if you don't see it, that's all right. I'm just going to put it right here. <laughs> yeah. So you shake your glass on the show, but not at a restaurant. <laughs> that would <Right>. be awesome. <laughs> exactly. Put it over my head. Exactly. Hey. Because I'm home, and it's only it's my fault if my uh, drink goes empty. So. Right. Right. <laughs> I just love the correlation. <laughs> All right, Roy. What's your number two? <laughs> my number two is atmosphere. Ah, oh, that's oh, a good you one. You like to people watch or absorb the Ab- whoa subtle Roy's nuances yeah. of uh, Roy's absorbing. <laughs> He's absorbing. <laughs> Roy absorb. likes to absorb. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm a big fan. Do you guys watch that show Bar Rescue? No, I've seen it, but I don't watch it. Normally. I imagine it's like the restaurant rescue show or the hotel rescue show, but about a bars. Yeah, pretty much. Yes, yeah. <laughs> right. fixing have... the bad attitudes and habits and bad attitudes, as we like to call it. Wow, <laughs> I like it. Oh. I like it. Fixing the bad attitudes, and then they fix the restaurant if they can fix the. Pe- I mean, the bar if they fix the people. Nice, but. The, the, you know, the point is, is like now that I see those shows, I look for certain things. Okay. Like I look for the the bottle stands and I look for like the eclectic design. And, you know, a lot of places down here have like pictures of Savannah and some of them don't. And I just I like looking at the different things. And, you know, I, you know, sometimes I like a big, loud, noisy restaurant. And right. Sometimes I like a nice, quiet thing. But. I look around. Yeah. And... That's a good point. I mean, I know the place we went last year or last year, last night, um, they have a lot of old pictures of Napa up uh, and they do it as light boxes. So it's actually like the light over the bar. When you look up at the lights uh, instead of just the regular uh, plexiglass or the film over the fluorescent lights, it's actually pictures of, of Napa. Right. It's and old so black they're, and white photos yeah, so it's kind of cool that how they've they do it. Uh, put on uh, plexiglass that's the light uh, shield. But it is it is interesting, like you said, Roy. Sometimes you're in the mood to just go, to, you know, to like kind of a a gritty, grungy, whether it's restaurant or bar, and you just want that noise and that feel of everybody just kind of there. And sometimes it's like you want the quiet. Let's go sit in the corner, and the atmosphere is huge, whatever your mood is. Um, which also is difficult because sometimes you can have people that are either next to you or behind you at a concert. <laughs> that can almost right. you know ruin that because you're like, if you could just shut the hell up or get off your damn phone for a minute and right. you know, but yeah, I like yeah. That. See, that's me at movie theaters. You know, if you text during the movie and I have to look at you, I, I didn't pay there's to see your no reason. Screen. There's yeah. no reason to have your phone during a movie. No, but see that I got really scared watching Fifty Shades of Grey because there was like a train of like six to eight women, and they seemed like they were a little you know, liquored up and ready to party. But thankfully, they after the movie started, they finally shut up. Oh, okay, good. But yeah. I, I thought they were ready to, like, root Christian on and stuff. It was just... <laughs> you do it! You do it, bad boy! You do it! <laughs> hit, that button, hit that button hard with that crop, Christian. <laughs> That's right. Get her! Get her! <laughs> get her! <laughs> you brand it. Make it Crap yours. <laughs> All right, my number, my number two is getting out. Kind of what you said, right? Just getting out of the house. Just kind of nice to uh, be out. I <laughs> love being at home. I am kind of a homebody. Hey, Zero. I am kind of a homebody. Um, I like it. I mean, I, I like my little nest and, and I have everything I want to do here. And I like cooking and, you know, barbecuing. And, but I sometimes will get in the rut that I'll – because we don't go out that often. And then when we do, I'm like, wow, this is a lot of fun. We should really do this like once a week. And then for a little while we will. We'll be like, okay, every you know Saturday we'll go out. When the movies are out, when we there's a lot of movies to see we do because we do go to the movies a bit. But when not – and then it will last about three weeks and then it will be like, well, instead of going out this Saturday, why don't we barbecue? But, yeah, my, number two for me is just getting out of the house and um, seeing other human people. 
as opposed to human, not people. So it's people. Right, <laughs> right, exactly. Um, funny enough, my number two is the same as your number three, and that is trying new things. Oh, nice. Because um, a lot of times we don't um, – Neil likes spicy food, and I can't really eat spicy food. And um, so I think it's an opportunity for both of us to try different kinds of things, and that way um, – I'll have a bite of whatever he's having or he'll have a bite of what I'm having. And I like, um, you know what, this, um, I might not be my favorite thing, but I want to, or kind of try this appetizer. If I don't like it, will you eat it? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, totally. Let's order that thing. And if you don't like it, I'll eat the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> you know? Annalise is great for like, I really want the steak, but I also want to try this weird slug sandwich. Why don't you get the steak and I'll get the slug sandwich. And if I don't like the slug sandwich, we can switch. And I'm like, Sounds good to me. I'm I'm in. But, yeah. Well, if you don't like the slug sandwich, why don't you just pour salt on it? The problem will take care of itself. There you go. Well, no, that would be too foamy for. Oh, uh, see, too much foam. Too much foam. <laughs> ropes <laughs> but yeah i mean i try to you know every now and then we pick something on the menu that i'm um, like hey i want to try this appetizer but if i don't like it are you willing to eat it and he's like absolutely let's get it and i'm like yes and the the i think one of the fun things too is my mom's a really good cook and she likes to try a bunch of different things so mm-hmm. it's for both of us but especially for me growing up it was tough to not be experimental with food because it wasn't like i could say no i want macaroni and cheese she was like well uh, that's too bad. This is what's for dinner. So yeah, Neil's either... mom is an incredible cook, and she makes everything from scratch, from beginning to end. And yeah. like the meal is just amazing from beginning to end. And you'll go over and you're like, I just thought we were gonna stop by for a quick bite, but um, yeah, okay. And and she's like, <laughs> Oh, I made Hungarian chicken, and then the next week it's like, Oh, I'm learning how to do sushi myself. I'm like, Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah, I would love to have the time to just sit there and make something badass in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. She, well, I mean, but, when, well, when, yeah, she, your mom's an amazing cook, and now that everyone's retired, she has the time. Right. But, like, yeah, I mean, like, we go over there, it's, um, the, the dinner's always amazing. And, and family and, being Italian and Argentinian, food is huge anyway. Yeah. A lot of food, yeah. a lot of wine. And yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like, it's a whole production. A lot of butter. Oh, yeah. Well, well I guess Annalise. I'm the yeah. only butter for <laughs> right. mayonnaise. Right. Which it's actually true. They actually um, were I sit at a certain spot at the table every time and the There's butter the and butter. the mayonnaise is next to my plate. And I'm like, okay, you guys, I get it. <laughs> but, Let's see. I would never quit that either. Yeah. yeah. And what's funny is uh, uh, Neil likes spicy food too, but Neil's dad loves spice and loves yeah. hot sauce. And so there's always like a thing of spice or hot sauce next to his dad's plate. So yeah. I guess I don't feel totally bad, but when my, when my dad sits down to eat, once he's in his chair, that's it. He's yeah. He won't get up. He will up. not get up. So he's the whole old, family, he's an old Italian curmudgeon at this point. Yeah. It, the, the whole family kind of caters to him and he, it's, he's a total neat freak. He's OCD. So if he's, if we're eating chicken and it has bones, he needs a separate plate to put his bones in. He can't right. put it back. And he needs about 50 napkins. Yeah. And, and it's <laughs> like, and he eats a t- how he's not 400 pounds i don't know right and there's but actually times where it takes so ton. long to eat dinner that i like have to take a break Annalise, i'm like i need to get well, up at least has taken his plate away from him before and said no you're not you're not eating it i have yeah, i like one just, there was one time i took i'm like you're done yeah i'm done it. therefore you're done i this is ridiculous i gotta yeah. go yeah we've been oh. here for two hours yeah, everyone will be done eating, and we're like, and Thanksgiving, like right. around they, the holidays. They make fun of me now because they're like, "Yeah, hey, Annalise, take his plate away because we want to get up." Yeah, around the holidays, <laughs> it's a joke because he'll just sit down, and it's like it's three hours later, and he everyone's had their pumpkin pie and coffee, and yeah. Kinda, and at this point, I'm sitting sideways in my chair, going, "Oh, I need to, I need to stand, I yeah. need to stand." And he's sitting there going, "Is is there any more turkey? Is there any more stuffing? Just one more plate, just one." My mom's like, "Oh no." <laughs> so anyway, all right, Roy. What's what's your number one? All right, let's do number one. My number one is no dishes. Mm. I hate uh, doing dishes. Dishes nice. suck. If I could just, you know, throw. If I could do paper pots and. Paper <laughs> <plates>. <laughs> so I'm going to interrupt here because I know it's not my turn. Yes, but it's the same as my number one. Oh yeah, there's no cleanup. Well, and going I- out. I literally leave the mess on the table right. and walk away. And it's kind of tough for Annalise because I do do most of the cooking. So the deal is kind of... I clean up. I do the yeah. cooking. Annalise does most of the cleanup. And sometimes I'll help and sometimes it's reversed. Right. But yeah, I can tell. And Annalise is not a, a fan of, of the cleaning I'm not a up. clean freak. And Neil's a clean freak. I'm, and I'm a just clean like, freak. I'm yeah. going to leave Annalise it. would be like, I'll leave the stuff in the, in the sink and I'll do it tomorrow. 
Yeah. And I'm like, uh, oh, no, if the we stuff can't do is that. in the sink, that means oh, the sink's God. not empty. <laughs> I, we, we've got to clean this mess up. Yeah, so. Buy a cloaking device. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we need a third sink. <laughs> exactly. But, <laughs> yeah, we so. Uh, sink. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So my number one is the same as Roy's number one. All right. Someone else cleans up. Nice. And there's actually been uh, times after dinner where I could just tell it's frustrating on Elisa no end right. and I'll I'll get up before like because we, we watch you know TV typically while we eat and I'll get up and start cleaning and she's like oh no come back and watch TV and I'm like no 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 I can see the look in your face I'm oh yeah I'll be right there I'm just gonna clean this up real quick before, <laughs> yeah, before you kill somebody so all right so I guess that's just my number one is Your left. number one. My You're number left. one is actually spending the time and the conversation with the people. I like going out because, again, it's that focus. It's like, very social. Yeah, yeah you don't you, you don't have to worry about getting the stuff out of the oven or getting more napkins right. or, you know. Because if you're the cook, you're stuck in the kitchen and everybody yeah. else is having a good time while you're in the kitchen. Yeah. So it's just that actual enjoyment of who, whoever you're with, whether it's us two or with friends or family or whatever. That's my That's my number one, bitches. <laughs> that's a good one. That's yeah. perfect, really. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. Favorite five. That's favorite five. Roy's so, favorite five. Nice. Huh? Very nice. What were you going to say? for the next few weeks, apparently. That's right. <laughs> oh, did you want to? You want me to do this real quick? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna do this real quick. Yes. Oh, so Are you yeah, you ready? Set it up. Yeah, okay, Napa weather report. Yeah, and then Roy's gonna have to give a Georgia. Weather report. All right, so it's. Uh, well, as of an hour and 50 minutes ago, it was 75 degrees with 54% humidity outside. We had peak wind of 12 mile an hour, uh, average of five. Uh, and it at recording time, it was three miles out of the south, three miles per hour out of the south. 72 degrees inside with 61% humidity. The bar- uh, barometer was at 29.95. Nice. So, Roy, what's the weather in Georgia or where you're at? Uh, oof. <laughs> <laughs> The dog ate my homework. <laughs> That's awesome. He's like, I would don't put me on this the weather spot. Ooh, <laughs> well, the thing, make... well the, it, it wouldn't have been so bad, but I restarted my computer, so I didn't ups, upset Skype. Right. Because I updated Skype. Right now it is sixty four degrees. It is partly cloudy. And if you guys want to buy me in a minute, I'll I'll go get the rest of the Savannah Broad. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Nice, nice. And and so and over there it's what, almost night what, eight thirty? Yes. Nice. Sixty. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, uh, it, it was fun to pick on Annalise. You're, you're still going to be here at 3.30, right? Well, <laughs> technically, it's it's 5.30 here. Right. So, so we missed it. So. Right. So, right. Sorry. And <laughs> so, yeah. It's funny because I think you texted or texted or something about unless there's some huge emergency that you don't see coming or something to that effect. And Annalise looked at me and said, is he kidding? Or might there be some, I'm like, I don't think he's planning a huge emergency. Yeah, I wasn't planning a trip to the ER. I was just well, saying. You guys talk a lot more than I do. And I'm like, right. he's joking, right? Right. No more. No more. I uh, don't get the context in text all the time. No more like, bloody lips or bloody noses. Right. No more of those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, everything's well, we, okay we over been, there, right? Yeah. Well, no. One day, um, Amelia left her backpack on the floor and Corinne, like, jumped on it like a surfboard oh. Corinne's the 14 month old and she went over it and landed on her lip and started crying and I picked her up and I didn't see like to put her over my shoulder I didn't see anything wrong <laughs> well when she like when I lifted her up to see how she was doing like her face was like it looked like the Joker but it was blood Oh, geez. Yeah. Oh. yeah, you know, blood, vomit. I bring it all to the show. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she, it's, you know. it's, it's a rare episode. We get to talk about blood and vomit in the right. same episode. So. This is I know. Complete. What are we going to do for a follow-up whenever I don't know. that happens? Oh, so. you'll be Vegas. ready. Vegas. <laughs> right. Free beer tomorrow. Right. I know. Oh you know, we should have. It's a shame you didn't save the peeing in the elevator story there today. That's true. That's that true. That would have been a hat trick, right? Oh, that, sorry, this isn't a hockey country. No, no, no. Uh, no we've we been don't. hitting for the cycle. We got there. You go. No, we got the sharks. So we're we're uh, we're pseudo hockey people. Right. Like we understand like the, the you know that they play on ice and uh, a hat trick. <laughs> I love hockey, but Do you really? You know, I live in the south, so right. right. 
We keep talking yeah. about going to but a I, game, but we haven't yet. Though. I was uh, texting with Roy, and I'm like, hey, you know, how's your day? What's going on? And he's like, oh, it was really great, except for the part where my daughter busted her face. I'm paraphrasing. Right. And I was like, and my stomach dropped. I was like, oh, because I could just imagine as a parent, you yeah. know, your your kid falls, you put you you hold them, and you're like, oh, it's going to be okay. And then you look at them, and there's just blood on their face, and you're like, uh it's my responsibility to fix that. And I don't know what that is yet. So I'm like, oh, and he's like, no, no, after a while it was fine. But yeah, the first time um, seven uh, did the correction on zero where he oh, like, right. bit, bit him and cause puppy face was getting a little bit shark mouth on him. And uh, I freaked out. Yeah, I just started freak- crying. I was like, I can't. Yeah. Like, why? Yeah. Cause I can't. the new puppy and seven was establishing dominance and, Flipped him on his back and and bit his bit him in the face on the top moved, of his on the top of his head. Yeah, he yeah. moved. Seven moved his head with his mouth open and it scratched the top of Zero's head. But he also pinned him down, mm-hmm. and that was that was that. And, <laughs> and no puppy problem. face peed and yeah, cried peed and like and ran cried. into the garage and like hid. And, yeah, uh, and Annalise lost it. And I was a little nervous too because I'd never seen Seven like that. I remember talking to to some people and uh, we actually one of our friends who's actually a pit bull expert. Right. Um, I asked and she's like, so let me see if I got this right. Your dogs were acting like dogs. And I'm like, oh yeah, I guess so. She's like, so the older one was letting the younger one know that, Hey, that's not okay. You've got to do what I say. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, and the problem is, and I'm like, apparently like, no I'm problem. Not, I'm not sure why you're calling me right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but, but it was, yeah, but I was honestly, freaked out. I was yeah. like, there's blood. He's crying. And those, and those, and those are dogs. So I can only imagine. When <laughs> right. It's, no, I can't. That's what I'm saying. Kid, like, I was like, like, there's blood. There's oh. crying. I need to fix the situation. I don't know what's happening, but I need to fix it. Although I will say the similarity of, I think, between kids and dogs is like five minutes later, they're fine. Yeah. Once they're, you know, I'm they realize they're upset okay. for three days, yeah. but they're fine. Zero was back hanging out with seven. And I'm sure, you know, your daughter was like, oh, so my face is gonna stay we're good all right cool gotta go are you gonna eat that yeah (laughs) that's great it's like you don't have time for the panic yet right because you're trying you know you're like the terminator you're like scanning 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 is she okay she's crying i get it how bad's the lip am i gonna have to you know do some stitches right right what is my wife gonna say? Right. She's gonna think I wasn't watching him. Her, right, right. Her, I don't know why I said him. Him, or her, either boys. way. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, she's like, got "Who is this son? Mind, you, we have a daughter. You, can't, you cannot panic." Right. Uh, um, the one, the one time I almost panicked is when Amelia was just a little older than Corinne, and she got up on a chair and all of a sudden like fell head first oh. on the tile floor. Oh yeah. And of course we're sitting there like, you know, should we take her in? And, uh, you know, it's just, we basically watched her. I, I don't know what the concussion symptoms are, right. but I was watching for something, but she was fine, fell asleep. And as far as I know, you know, is okay. I don't feel any major dents three and a half years later. Right. And it's it's interesting too, like now, you know, having friends that have kids and hearing the stories, I realize how much stress I must have put my family through because I was always You're very accident prone. Yeah. So. Which is funny because I never thought I was until I realized like I was always falling down and I remember once I um, I fell off my bike and I landed on gravel and a piece of gravel got in my knee and was actually lodged in my knee and it really hurt. And I went to my mom and I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know what to do. Freaking out and crying. And she she had to go get nice. Yeah, do it. Do it. OK. All right. What's it doing? I didn't want to interrupt your story. Oh, my mom had to pull a piece of gravel out of my me and i remember like now she you know when we talk about it she's like oh my god my stomach dropped i thought it was right the worst she'll tell ever. you actually now that she's like oh my god i was so freaked out about that right but like at the time she was like no i got it i'm a mom yeah I got this and handle. i remember she just pulled it out and she's like okay you know be careful and i'm like oh all right but right. now she's like oh my god yeah. all the and stuff she, you did and then she died yeah, right. right and then right. like you and went outside to play and right. she went in the bathroom and cried for like an hour <laughs> all right hit your rewind button oh yeah hold on hold on right. uh-oh uh-oh I, I let it go to oh, sleep. Oh, Jesus. So sorry. You oh, ready? No. Yeah, ready? go. All right, Roy. It's all you. Okay, here we go with the Savannah weather. <laughs> 63 degrees. It feels like 63 degrees. We have an easterly, east-southeast wind at 7 miles per hour. The barometer is 30.06 inches. The dew point is 58 degrees. 
Humidity is 85 percent, and the visibility is 10 miles. Nice. That's Very awesome. Nice. That's Very our, nice. Thank you, MSN Weather. <laughs> there you go. That's our first uh, outside Napa. It is. That's awesome. Official. You're nice. trendsetting the shit out of the show That's tonight. right. <laughs> Sons of bitches. All right, let's uh, let's pimp some stuff and get the heck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know what to pimp. No, not you. So, Roy. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Roy's, Roy's I'm like, gonna, I are you guys, are you guys have a beverage. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm done. We're, I, no, I don't think so. We'll yeah. do like our thank usual God, little outro, yeah. but thank that's you. it. We like, we like, just thank you for listening. That's awesome. But Roy, tell us uh, about moving the needle and where they can find you on Twitter and and Facebook and pages. Do they, I, they don't do Instagram, do you? You can do Facebook and Twitter, I right? I don't know. Ask Roy. I don't even Google Plus. Yeah. They're Google. They're Google enough. neutral. Go- Googlers. <laughs> Google neutral. That's why, yeah. <laughs> I cracked myself up. All right, Roy. Tell us all about it. All right. Well, the Moving the Needle podcast is a podcast about movies, television, books, and sometimes music. We're really mostly movies. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, we are at MTN Pod. If you tweet, we are at Facebook.com slash MTN Pod. Uh, if you Facebook... We are mtnpodcast at gmail.com because I can't find the password to mtnpod at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And if you go to our website, mtnpod.com, it'll hook you up with iTunes, Stitcher. If you just want to go to one place and hit play, but listen to our show. I think you'll enjoy it because I said so. That's right. It is <laughs> It is a good show. And uh, it's cool because the dynamic of all the different uh Post And it's kind of neat because you don't necessarily, I mean, you have your core, but you don't necessarily get everyone all the time. So you have a different, I mean, it's almost like. Different opinions. Yeah. Walks of life. Yeah. And so, it's really yeah. cool. It's a great show. Yeah, I and, enjoy it. And the ladies on our show, they're both film school grads. Uh, Meg was film criticism and Bailey was uh, film production. She's actually starting a production company, which is why we don't see her very much. But she's moving and shaking out in L.A. and. Nice. We're very proud of her. Bailey's like my younger sister, so. Oh, cool! That's awesome. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to say too much because uh, Courtney Geeker, geeky gamer chick, right? Um, but she and I are working on a little something right now. So oh, okay, awesome. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give her the first look. Awesome right, for sure, for sure. Well, very cool. Well, and you can find us at uh, darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com dot com, and Pinterest, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Oh, YouTube. We have, we have lists, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Am I this? Everything is DAPF Pod. Uh, Twitter, I'm at Angels Freak Seven. I am Warrior Tech Girl. And check out. And uh, I am Roy Max Seven Five. That's, that's right. True, right. And check out the networks. Uh, part of Musings of a Geek dot com. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The Pod Dam Network. Poddam dot com. Podgods Network dot com. And Tangemount Network dot com. I think our episode with Mark Danger Entertainment. Danger. Oh, I've totally forgot. <laughs> oh, forgot. <laughs> forgot my own relatives. Uh podcast network sorry mike um but danger entertainment network dot com dot yeah. com uh actually it's danger know. it's dot net I think. dot net yeah yeah um tangent really, i haven't gotten an email from them yet <laughs> are you not are you not mike, on, you better get are you on. not on there yet no actually we just started becoming twitter buddies recently don't worry we'll get there oh, i was no, just we'll, having fun no we'll get you on there anybody who takes me seriously really needs to stop no but i'm, I'm a little i'm a little disappointed michael that he hasn't reached out to you we're gonna have to have some words no I'm sure. <laughs> um tangent bound network so our episode with tangent bound uh, mark we were Comes gymless. out in april i think i think it's gonna release at the beginning of april but we'll let april Fool's day maybe. but if you're listening to us here or however you listen to us then you know that you can listen to us. And thank you so much for all the well wishes on our uh, one year one anniversary. Year. So yeah. awesome. Ray, awesome. got any final, any last words for the I was going to say final words. That sounds a little ominous. You have any final words, Roy? <laughs> Damn it. No, because I already wished you a happy anniversary. It was late, but I waited until everybody else got it out of the way. So you actually noticed mine. Nice. nice. Very nice. You have any? And uh, we'll have you on again. Which and, for sure. Uh, this was a lot Next of fun. Week? Thank oh, you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. I'm I'm sorry it took so long, but this was awesome. Yes. And, and I'm sorry we didn't hit four hours and eighteen minutes to take <laughs> uh, this podcast. I would have had right. to take a break. <laughs> right. All right. So with that. Yeah.